Okay, hey, where Lego goes, everyone stubs ears with cheese violently. Coffee demand plummets following additional drinks. There you go. <laughs> all right. <clears throat> with all that aside, I can now minimize Discord and do this again. Uh, so I've, I've never actually played this game, really. I mean, I, I, I have like 30 minutes of fuddling around with it. Um, I don't consider that to be um, learning the game in any way. Um, there's a few things I would like to read through first. Um, I mean, there's, of course, your, you know, your command list and everything. I'm, I will be referencing this a lot. Um, you like to escape to, to escape to reality, yes. Um, the, 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 there's, but there's a few things in here that I, I definitely want to read, which is this. Um, because this is eldritchy horror e nightmares. Um, so maybe, you know, good idea to have a peek. Uh, your mental health is represented by two percentage values. Shock is your level of stress and paranoia in the current situation, and insanity is long-term permanent madness. When various disturbing events occur, the shock value rises. When the shock hits 100%, the following happens. You react somehow. Scream, laugh, faint, babble, or gain a phobia. The shock value is restored, and the insan and insanity rises. Uh, each time you travel to the next dungeon level, your shock is restored. You have escaped the horrors from above and is bestowed with a sense of progress. Also, standing in a lit area reduces your shock a bit. Most characters start with an electric lantern, which can be useful to prevent shock from rising too high. If your insanity reaches 100%, you are hopelessly lost and the game is over. So that's a, something that we need to pay attention to. Um, hit points, wounds, and healing. You know, let's just go backwards through this. Uh, let, oh, actually, let's just start up an environment interaction. Um, many things in the game can be interacted with by moving into them, i.e. by bumping them. For example, move into monsters to do a melee attack. Move into closed doors, chests, cabinets, etc. to attempt to open them. Uh, move into opened chests, cabinets to loot them. And move into fountains to drink from them. Character level and progress towards the next level is, is called experience. Depth, current floor, health, spirit, shock. Okay. Yeah, that's all pretty standard. Lantern. Remaining number of turns until your electric lantern your electric your electric lantern can be used for. Uh, remaining medical supplies, armor. Whether or not you're currently blind or diseased. Cool. Um, inventory handling should be pretty fine. Points, wounds, and healing should also be fine. Let's just check this. In addition to your physical and mental health, you have an essence or spirit to preserve. If you lose all of your spirit, you are dead. Your spirit points are shown like this. Spirit, current, max. You can learn spells by casting them from manuscripts. Casting spells naturally without manuscripts will drain some of your spirit. To cast memorized spells, press X to open up the menu. Okay. This cost is a range of values, and the spirit is drained as a random value in this range, and your skill level for each spell and occultist characters can learn to cast spells at higher levels by picking certain traits. All right, well, what could possibly go wrong? Am I right? Also, hey, Hexwrench, how are you? <laughs> Thanks for interrupting my babble through. But, ew, journey. To replay the joke from earlier. <laughs> so now I now we need to decide who I play as. Um, I don't know what a good starting background is. I don't know what a good starting class is. If anybody has recommendations, if you've played this game before, feel free to throw them at me. I'm gonna read these. But um, that's kind of where I'm at with that. Just if you have recommendations, just chuck them at me. Starts with a holy symbol which can restore spirit points and grant resistance against shock and fear. That seems helpful. Cannot use manuscripts, altars, monoliths, or gongs, but gains experience from spirit points for destroying these. Okay. 
Manuscripts are destroyed when picking them up. Uh, spirit points gained above the maximum level can be kept indefinitely until they are spent. Gains a point, gains a bonus trait at character levels two, four, and six. Stout spirit plus two hit points and increased spirit regeneration. So basically, this is just like, like regen and timer and clock reduction. Bane of the Undead, plus two melee and ranged attack damage against all undead monsters. Okay. Ghoul, does not regenerate hit points and cannot use medical equipment. Oh, boy. Uh, heals by feeding on corpses. Ooh, excellent. Uh, feeding is done while waiting on a corpse. Can uh, incite frenzy at will and does not become weakened by when frenzy ends. Plus eight hit points, is immune to disease and infections, does not get, does not get sprains, can see in darkness, 50% shock taken from seeing monsters, minus 15% chance with firearms and thrown weapons. All ghouls are allied. Ooh. Specializes in spell domain. I feel like we should start with the exorcist just by reading these. Um, selected character creation at character level 4 and 8. All, all spells belonging to the chosen domain are cast at higher skill level. This choice also determines starting spells, 50% shock taken from casting spells when casting memorized spells or casting from manuscripts. After carrying uh, or identifying strange items, i.e. drinking a potion or carrying a disturbing artifact, can dispel traps. Doing so grants spirit points. You're late, B-Lug. Good morning. <laughs> can dispel magic traps. Uh, doing so grants spirit points. Plus three spirit points in addition to stout spirit. What this? This is Infra Arcana, a free game that you could download if you like. It was voted for by my patrons for a uh, Halloween-themed roguelike. It's right after lunch for you. I'd st you're an hour late, man. <laughs> Hour and eight minutes late, to be specific. Yeah, after reading these, I think we should... I think we should start with the ex Exorcist. So the Exorcist uh, starts with a holy symbol, which can restore spirit points and grants resistance against shock and fear. Can use Cannot use manu manuscripts, altars, or monoliths, or gongs, but gains experience from breaking them. Um, spirit points gained above the maximum level can be kept indefinitely until they are spent. War veteran for beginners, really? Switches to a prepared weapon instantly starts with a flak jacket, maintains armor twice as long before it breaks. I mean, this doesn't seem like beginner to me. And I will just simply state the reason it doesn't seem like beginner to me is because everything about this game seems like run away. And you return to someone new? I think I met you at TwitchCon, Myrathy. <laughs> Actually, uh, a couple of years ago. You You go around putting googly eyes on everything, right? Because I have a, a TwitchCon badge somewhere in this apartment with googly eyes on it. So, yes. So not that new. New-ish? We have met before. Um, hmm. Yeah, I don't want to play the War Veteran. I want to play Exorcist. Seems much more interesting. New stream voice. Uh, I was going to say, it's like, can't be that new. So I have met you before. <laughs> it's good to see you, though. And that's the fun of raids now, isn't it? Run a lot, though? I feel like everything I've been told and everything I've ever learned about this game, Jimmy, um, is run away, don't fight. So I'm okay with this. Because <laughs> you're having to refollow. I've had to, like, I don't have to refollow people very often, but I do have this problem where people will either not stream for a really long time or they just don't show up in my following. I don't know if anybody else has seen this happen, but I've seen, I've noticed this happen recently. I had a channel pop up in my following. I was like, I haven't seen that person on in forever. And I clicked on their icon to like watch them. And 
then I clicked on their past streams, and they've been streaming like every day for the past two years practically, but they haven't shown up in my following list. So either I'm just my username and blind, or literally people are vanishing. <laughs> I don't know what the fuck's going on. It's creepy. I don't like it. Um, better firearms and weapons. What trait do I want to start with? 10% chance. Plus one damage from melee. Cast Bless. Gain the ability to class Bless at the basic level. The, the caster becomes more lucky. Plus 10% to hit chance, evasion, and stealth, and searching. Okay. The spell lasts for 15 to 30 turns, and the spell costs 4 to 8 spirit to cast. You currently have 5 out of 5 spirit. That's a lot of spirit, considering if I spend all of my spirit, I die? If I'm not mistaken. So these are all options because cleansing fire, gain the ability to class cleansing fire, causes the spells victims to burns for th burn to three to five turns, scorches the ground around them with fire. Be careful when hitting the adjacent creatures. Yeah, that seems dangerous. Heal seems helpful. Cast Bellas to reroll. Well, or dodge roll. Cast healing at a basic level restores eight hit points. This spell costs three to six spirit. The ones, these are all freaking me out because it's like it costs two to four spirit. You have five out of five spirit. I'm pretty sure if I run out of spirit, I'm just dead. Um, Me, a couple months ago when I sent a ticket to Twitch support and they got back to me the next morning. So I don't know what you're talking about, Orange. Gain the ability to cast light at a basic level, and it illuminates an area around the caster. This spell lasts for 10 to 20 turns. The spell costs 2 to 4 spirit. Good evening, Stone. How are you? This is a proper roguelike, so this is a permadeath nightmare factory. Oh, I'm just getting moved to a parallel universe. I got you, b -Log. Sounds lovely. Gain the ability to cast Sanctuary at a basic level, and the caster is ignored by all hostile creatures for the duration of the spell. There's 113 accounts linked to your email. Oh, that's not good. I have a feeling that... Uh... <laughs> huh. Yeah, that's that seems suboptimal, Orange. That <laughs> certainly seems suboptimal. But uh, in my experience, Twitch support has always been pretty good. Like, sometimes it'll be slow, but when they get back to you, they've always been pretty good. Um, the caster is ignored by all hostile creatures for the duration of this spell. The effect is interrupted if the caster moves to perform a melee or a ranged attack. So... I'm kind of between Cleansing Fire or Sanctuary right now. Gain the ability to see invisible at a basic level. Grants the caster the ability to see the invisible. The spell lasts for ten to 5 to 10 turns, and the spell costs 4 to 8 spirit to cast. Currently have 5 out of 5. Well, I have a question. Why are you forwarding your concerns with like Twitch like support to me when I literally can't do anything. But it you 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 should remove them from your account if they're linked and you can see them. If you have a way to unlink them, you should. I don't know how because I've never seen that before, and I've also never used that feature, and I've never heard of this happening before. But I would just simply write them another ticket. <laughs> um, but what do I know? Maybe I just shouldn't start off with any of these. But yeah, there's nothing I can do, so I, I'm not sure why you're telling me all this. 20% shock resistance, 25% chance to evade attacks. So these are all just the standard passives. Mods recharge twice as fast. Using medical equipment requires only half the normal time and resources. Well, you've made me feel more annoyed. You've never seen an invisible creature. I've died to an invisible creature in my short period of time fudging around in this game on level two. 
if I'm not mistaken. Any fatal damage received is instead drained from your spirit points. Huh. I think I might just take stealthy. Plus two spirit points, increased spirit regeneration rate. That also seems helpful, but I've got nothing to use that on. Eh. You're always aware of nearby creatures. Either stealthy or vigilant. Let's go with stealthy. What is our name? This is the fun bit, chat. Stealth Archer 843. I mean, if we want to go with the classic, we could just go with this. ADSF. That is that is the classic name. All right. Well, just, just to make your life a little easier, Dominoc and Jimmy Tibby, I'm not going to call it Bob. Now, if we can come up with a better name, I'll take your advice. Otherwise, I'll just name it something. Proceeds to smile. Remember, we are an exorcist. So probably some form of priest. Let's come up with something good. If you name it Bob, then... Well. All right, fine. I'm just going to go... with something actually good. No. No. No, 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 no. Call myself the. See, that's the first funny name I've seen yet. But I just, I just, I, I don't like any of these suggestions. Like, you, you guys are very, very bad at recommending names. I mean, This is also the hardest part for me. I'm tempted to just go with the classic ADSF just to uh, completely obliterate all of your hopes and dreams of me choosing your names. So you know what? That's what we're going to do. <laughs> uh, the story is so far. I stand in the end of a cobbled forest path. Before me lies a, sh a shunned and decrepit old church building. This is the access point to the domains of the abhorred Cult of Starry Wisdom. I am determined to enter these sprawling catacombs and purge them of the corruption that dwells within. At the depths of the abyss lies an artifact of non-human origin. Called the Shining Tap Trapahedron? Rumored to be a window to all of the secrets of the universe. This must be destroyed so that none more may be tempted by its deceitful promises. Welcome to the video game. We are at Asif the Exorcist. Now, I know that this game has ambient sounds, but I may throw on my own pretty quick. The thing is, I need to be able to hear the game's ambient sounds. Hmm. Do I have a look key? I do have... Oh, nope, that's a... That's my lantern. All right, so let's... 
do the important thing, which is figure out the hotkeys. Tome of Wisdom, command list. A is inventory for some reason. C is closed door. Capital C is character information, noted. Uh, D is drop item. F is aim and fire. K, H is man message history. Pickup item is G. Inventory is I. K is to kick or strike. We're gonna be checking that a lot. All right, well. Cannot be affected by harmful spells. Mm. Mental disorders, none. That's probably not true. That is definitely not true. All right, I'm a... Throw this up. Let's go with... Mm -hmm. I'm sure this will do. One of my favorite notes about this game on their website. None yet, yeah. It's, it's, uh, it will come sooner rather than later. Is excellent use of spooky ambient sounds. I know that creatures in this game make sounds. Well, we're in the church. I have a feeling that the literal second we enter the basement, there's going to be critters around. So my spirit is currently 5 out of 5. My shock goes up over time just by spending time on the floor, but that resets when we hit when we go into the next level. So that's kind of like my hunger timer, which I theoretically will stop me from wasting time. Theoretically. We'll see if it actually does. But there's our stairways. This end. Sneaking upwards? What the hell is that? Didn't pause the game, so it can't be too evil. Is there a look or examine? S is wait five turns. Okay. View descriptions of things on the map. V. Hanging vines. Remember here, hanging vines. All right. So we're probably pretty quickly going to start seeing things. The fuck was that? Random thunk. Uh, people with the Patreon sounds. Now would be a good time to have a stab on point. I'm just going to throw that out there. The rat thing sees me. Rat thing is in my view. I've discovered a rat thing. I mean... Not after I suggest it. Whoa, oh, dude, yeah, fuck yeah, yeah, dude. Yeah, that's yeah. fucking sick. Hell yeah. yeah. Woo! This rat thing is in my view. So I don't know how I can get around you. Guess I just beat it. It missed. I missed. It missed. Rat thing dies. I strike the rat thing with a hatchet. I have a hatchet, apparently. Well, that increased my shock a bit, but it's not impossible. There's another one? God damn it. Is it going to just come to me? Yep, there it is. I missed. I missed! <laughs> I struck it. Really? Did I just one-shot it? Damn. Fuck that rat thing. We're in total darkness. And there's a rat thing in front of us. I struck it with a hatchet and it died. 
This rock is deified with blasphemous carvings. It must be destroyed. So how do I destroy it? Ooh. Use which power? Alt purge, which destroys altars, monoliths, or gongs adjacent to the caster. All undead creatures uh, adjacent to the caster, seen or not, are struck with 5 to 10 damage and become terrified for 3 to 6 turns unless they resist fear. Alright. Gets me 15% of the way to the next level. Let's turn the lamp on. <laughs> I attempt to push the lid. The lid comes off. The space feels colder. The tomb is empty. I turn the lantern on. So there was a rat thing. My character is currently terrified. We are no longer in total darkness, and there's something hitting me. Seems to just be the rat thing. Don't know how long Terrified lasts for. So I'm just going to keep walking this way. Don't get the lantern for very long. Let's turn the lantern off. All right, it seems to be walking away. The rat thing seems disturbed. There's a rat thing in my view. All right, well... So there's a rat thing down on the left, and there's a rat thing up above me. I wonder if he'll just, like, leave. It could have been a good spirit or a ghost or something, which is why I have Terrified sitting on me. Um, probably, actually, the invisible enemies thing that we were talking about earlier would be my assumption. But I'm out of that room now. So let's wait five turns. Okay, I'm no longer Terrified. That is a definite improvement. Im improvement? Improvement. Um, I would rather not fight things. So I guess the plan here is to just move this way. What are you? Oh, there's an electric lantern on the ground. Well, so is that a... I pick up the el electric lantern. So now I have two electric lanterns. Rat thing sees me. Well, I'm sure I can fight the rat thing. It missed. I don't actually believe I've been hit by a rat thing yet, so I'm not too worried about fighting the rat things. The door coming up. There's vines on the other side. And a statue. What are you? It's a statue. Just a, just a statue. Uh-oh. I hear a click. Lovely. A burst of gas is released from a vent on the floor. I am paralyzed. I can move again. All right, well, we got hit by a paralyzed trap. So there is a rat thing in my view, and I spot gas traps. Ooh. Plus 1% XP. The way is blocked. There is a statue there. Oh, does the... Yeah, rat thing sees me. Chest opens. <laughs> I hit the rat thing, hit the rat thing again. Rat thing dies. Pick up a murky, I read that as murky potato. I will definitely pick up a murky potion. I found a murky potion. Yay. There's a cultist in my view. Wondering if cultist sees me. A fanatic cultist of the lowest rank, madly gibbering in some half-lost language. They occasionally have learned to cast a spell or two, although never with great skill. Therefore, they tend to rely on mundane firearms to handle threats. The chance to hit the cultist in melee combat is currently 75%. Remember, hostile creatures uh, for at least 16... Oh, okay, so it will remember me for 16 turns. And it is wielding a sawed-off shotgun, which is probably better than the hatchet that I have. Bacon, indeed. 
Brander. Bacon indeed. Let's see if I can just walk away from you. Ah, oh, damn, I should have closed the door. Ow. Fired and he missed. Hmm. I'm gonna go hide up. Oh, jeez. <laughs> I was gonna say, I'm gonna go hide up in that area up above me. Where the spooky thing is. Oh, I'm back in terrified mode. Hmm. I hear snarling. This seems suboptimal. And I'm dead. All right. Let's try this again. So I wonder if I'd closed that door if it would have still seen me. I figured that sawed-off shotgun would be a bad thing to charge. Rip indeed. Let's go again. We're just going to go with the exact same starting. So you get the first hit? Probably, yeah. I probably I wonder if I could have waited behind the um the vines or behind a closed door or something. Anyway, same starting. The fact that I got caught in a dead end is a little rough. <laughs> Rip me. Rip Adesif, the exorcist. 21 10 19 score 202. I'm still kind of teaching myself the hotkeys anyway, so. All right. Descend. We have an open door. Just close the door and walk forward. I don't like open doors. Be honest. I like this layout a lot more. There's a lot more hallways. Considering I, I don't know this game's level gen at all. I'm assuming that's water. Deep water. Okay. I don't know if I can swim. I don't know this game's level gen at all, but I very much enjoy this one. This levels start immensely more. The rat thing seems disturbed. I discovered a rat thing. Let's see if I can just walk away from the rat thing. Interesting. Oh, I thought it actually walked through the wall. <laughs> Let's see where it goes. I'm just going to kind of assume that I can just let the rat thing go. It's a cage. Way back to the first door. Let's finish exploring down this way. Oh, more cage walls. Another rat thing. I feel like the rats are like more scared of me than I am of them. <laughs> Comes up to me and I hatch it. It, it. Hatch it, it, it. I think that's how the English language works. Wolf looks wary. There's a wolf in my view. <laughs> eh. The wolf will remember me for five turns, and I can hit it for... My chance to hit the wolf bark, in combat bark, is 55%. Bark, 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 Don't bark too loud, or the dog bark, might hear you, dude. Bark, bark, Come on. Bark, 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 bark. That's rude. They can see in darkness. Oh, that's great. <laughs> Not 
bleeding or anything, am I? I do have a gun. Stick of dynamite, a holy symbol. Whole point of providing strength and guidance and spirit to the mind. Praying over the symbol restores one to four spirit points and grants complete resistance against shock and fear for six to twelve turns. That might have saved me last. Medical bag. No wounds to treat. Then why is my HP so low? Spooky sounds. Ominous spooky sounds intensify. Dead end. Lovely. Of course, the exit's going to be like where I came from, right? <laughs> that first door. door seems to be stuck. Okay, so you just heal over time then. Gotcha, 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 gotcha. Chains rattle. Level expiration, good XP. I mean, it is good experience. Why didn't I do that earlier? I'll refund you those tickets. It's, uh, or channel points, rather. I thought that I, uh, manually did that myself but i can't i literally can't do anything with it after um records are done so i'm gonna delete that and uh refund it when i'm done streaming you should have your channel points back by tomorrow all right so i can steal. all right so there's shallow water and deep water Rogue has taught me to fear water. An axe. Is that better than the axe I already have? It seems to be worse than what I already have. I'm just going to drop it. I thought it was D to drop it. This game doesn't understand what normal hotkey lists are. It is D to drop item. Yes, I would rather have the more accurate weapon. But I'm trying to figure out why I can't drop it. <laughs> Literally hitting D. I carry no headwear. Any key? But what? <laughs> right. Right. It's like this this is minus five, this is plus fifteen, but does three instead of ten. And so yes, it does a lot more damage, but I'm trying to figure out why I can't drop it. And I want to know how to drop things. Yeah, I'm hitting D just says I carry no headwear. So I don't understand what that key is. I also do have that pistol, the revolver. I wield a hatchet, I put away the hatchet. I'm gonna apply that item. I, I, I think I said this to you once before about this game, CCX, but the, um, the, <laughs> Uh, what, what, what do you call it? The um, hotkey list on this game makes absolutely no logical sense, even by, like, hotkey list standards. <laughs> like, this game just has very strange key layouts. So I remember saying that, the, like, I played a little bit of this and it's felt clunky. 
This is going to take some getting used to, but it'll be fine once I get used to it. Although then I'm going to have to relearn Cud the next time I play that. That it does it doesn't help that like half of the or rather uh some some of the things here like just don't seem to work. Like I don't seem to be able to drop items. Yeah, I also haven't played Adom since two thousand and nine ish, so it's been a while. Well, maybe two thousand ten, maybe eleven. It's been like ten years since I've played Adom, so I'm very used to, like, you know, L to look or K to look, uh, F to fire, T to switch between things, G to drop. Like, G to, dr G to pick up or drop is also pretty normal. D to drop as well. But D to drop doesn't seem to work. Like, I will pop up my inventory, select a thing, hit drop, and it just tells me I carry no headwear. So I don't actually know what it's trying to communicate to me with that. But... I prayed to the whole holy symbol so I can... Because the last time I was in a room like this, there was a cultist. Right now there's just a statue and then a fountain. I feel vulnerable to fear. I feel susceptible to the horrors of this place again. Whatever that means. Drinking from a fountain usually restores a bit of health and spirit and shock, but they can sometimes have other effects, both good and bad. Fountains can be drunk from several times, but each time there is a chance that it will dry up permanently. These hints can be disabled in the options menu. No, I like these hints. These are good hints. D is headshot. Does that even work, or are you just, like, guessing, Marathi? Because to my knowledge, this game doesn't have any mouse support whatsoever. Uh, this isn't new, though. This is old. So there's the stairs down. There's an altar. So I can get some XP for breaking the altar. Ow! <laughs> Jesus! Man! That's rude. All right, so um, he's got an S and W Smith and Wesson Model Ten revolver. Shoots me and I'm hit. You wall banging twat. Low HP warning. Well, I think I'm dead. He misses me, struck him with the hatchet. I hit him and he misses. I hit him and he misses. The cultist dies. I no longer have a wound. I still only have one HP though. I'm just gonna go back here and wait some turns. Yeah, HP going up. Investments are open, heads up. That cultist was a camper. Ammunition can be unloaded from firearms on the ground by pressing U or G. Pick up that ammo too. Uh, hold up. A diabolic altar has been raised here and it can be destroyed. Now, did I destroy them again? I know I did that once before. I thought I just bumped into them. Uh-oh. Well, I am me. Five turns. All right, no longer blinded.
You can disarm a trap. How does one do that? Um, how the heck do I do this? Because I, I, I thought I did this the last time through. But... Uh, interesting. Okay. What's P do on the command list? Oh, thank you. Yeah, I'm, I'm, this is technically like my second run of the day, so. Although, just check Addisif and then the number that I've added in the top right. How do I destroy this gong? Because I'm an exorcist. And it says that I can destroy them by bumping into them, but I'm bumping into them and it not doing nothing. Must be destroyed. Okay, so then how to do that? Probably not with a stick of dynamite. Cast purge? I don't have purge, but it said that I can just bump into them, which is what I did last... Because this is my second run, right? Um, the first run that I did, I bumped into them and it just broke them. But now you're telling me I have to cast a spell? Because that's new. Toggle lantern, kick or strike objects, or destroy corpses. Uh, that's going to be important, probably. You know, I'm going to do a thing. I'm going to screenshot this screen. Pop it up on my second monitor. <laughs> That'll be helpful. And just stare at that. That's that's something I'm gonna do. Woo! But yeah, no, I'm just perplexed as to why I could do it with one turn last time, but now I can't. So something's changed, but I don't know what it is. Also, there's a manuscript here, which I think I'm just going to destroy by picking it up. Yes. Which I did. Yeah, I don't know. So if I've stepped on a trap and I hear a click, can I disarm it from within it? From on it, or once I once I've stepped on it, it's done. I'm, I'm done, right? I'm assuming that there's ways to detect traps. I'm gonna try drinking from this fountain. Drink from fountain, very refreshing. Fountain dies, dries up. Hmm. So, okay. So I asked two questions and your response is yes. I don't know which one you're responding to. <laughs> Let's just descend. I'm gonna go use the toilet real quick. I'll be back in a moment. Right, I get you. Okay, that, that makes sense. If you hear a click, then disarm it from underneath you. Also, it's dark. Excellent. That's a shotgun. A rifle, not a shotgun set. 
still picking up. Open a barred gate, because the other one is locked. Oh, there's an obelisk. You f I feel like praying over the holy symbol would be beneficial again. That's interesting. Make a prayer over the symbol. Rock is detailed with blasphemous craving car carvings that must be destroyed. I don't understand why why I suddenly have to like cast spells. It's, it makes no sense to me. Cast purge. Unless I did that the first time and I just don't remember, which is possible. Hmm. So there's a dead end. Oh, there is another door there. Door is revealed. Interesting, this area is well lit. There's a lever. A lever in left position. Wonder if that opens the door back there. Hmm. Door seems to be stuck. Well, there's this door. Hmm. Crawling intestines, in my view. Quite good timing on that. Discovered crawling intestines. Let's descend. Oh, interesting. I'm gaining spirit. I'm staring at the hotkeys. So. Oh, interesting. We're 50% of the way to leveling. There's another axe. It's better than what I already have, but I already have a better axe, if I'm not mistaken. Which I also can't wield yet. You know, I got the 10.0 plus 3 axe, whereas this is just a lower quality axe. No, that door's locked. A floating skull looks wary. Well, we have many of those here. I have discovered a floating skull. I don't like that this is my only way. Wait, what? Why, why do I suck? Is this a floating skull is scary situation? All right. Let's turn the lantern off. A crawling hand is in my view. Hmm. I've discovered a crawling hand. Suddenly Legend of Zelda vibes. A disembodied hand crawling around frantically. 
its fingertips like on its fingertips like a spider. The chance to hit the crawling head in con in melee combat is currently ninety eight percent because they are unaware. All right, that's good to know. You know, it's it's funny how many people think that it's like a boom, like a ghost, but because everybody, guys, I think that's what Kiri's sounds like, right? But mine's very much like a boo, you suck. <laughs> you need to fire the game up, go and give it a few runs once you're done with dinner. I mean, maybe it's a good time. Certainly seems like the proper season for it. Also, yeah, I'm, I'm basically just open to tips and hints right now. Uh, Cause this game doesn't have a wiki, from what I can tell. So if anybody's just like feeling like checking out hit, hints and tips, as long as you're not like, you know, directly telling me what a thing will do, unless I ask, feel free. You haven't played this game in forever. I've only played a very small around amount of it. They appear to move fast. The crawling hand will remember hostile creatures for seven turns. It can cannot visually detect other creatures, but will pursue a threat once this. Once aware, this creature is undead. They are frightening to behold. And they can see in darkness. Don't die. Thanks! I already did that, so way ahead of you. And I think that's a shirt. An asbestos suit. A lever. A statue. All right, well, the hand is crawling towards me. I guess that means that it is now aware of me. Oh, great. Chance to hit it is 25%. Well, it's here. I've missed twice. Crawling hand dies. Not wounded. A worm mass is in my view. I get 3% XP from it. They are unaware of me currently. They appear to move slowly. The worm mass will remember me for eight turns. They are unsettling to behold. They cannot be harmed by poison or disease, and they can see in darkness. Picked up the asbestos suit. I'm walking away. They do appear to move slowly, so we can just walk away from them. Suddenly, the wall collapses. Well, that's lovely. <laughs> eh. <laughs> All right. Appear, uh, the, the reanimated corpse grill ghouls and a reanimated corpse ghoul. We have discovered reanimated bark, corpse bark, ghoul. Bark, 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 bark. Is that your response, bark, Brander, bark, is to just bark, bark at them? Bark, 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 bark. This rotting corpse appears to have been brought back to life through some abominable process. Has grown sharp claws to attack with. Yeah, this seems like a good runaway situation. Do and make a good exorcist. <laughs> you walk into a room and you see like a reanimated corpse, you just bark! You just start screaming, barking at it now, barking noises at it. I hope they're slow. That's all I have to really say about them. <laughs> There's also the floating skull. Hmm. What do I do? I think it's time to pray. <laughs> I make a prayer over the symbol. Do you think they can open doors? Oh, brilliant. Floating skull spews forth a uh, liturgy of curses. The spell is resisted. OK, 
can be used for wedging things closed. Can I sprint? Hmm. I think I have a Molotov. I do indeed have a Molotov. Now is a Molotov something that's gonna blow up right next to me and kill me? <laughs> Persuade that corpse that it's actually you and that it shouldn't fight you. I wouldn't know how to do that if I could do that. Is that a thing I can do? But yes, we should definitely persuade the corpse that I am it, yes. Light Molotov cocktail. <laughs> yes. It claws me. And I'm dead, so not entirely sure what happened. I guess it just clawed me to death. Mm, you suck. Yeah, I know. That's why we're getting good, man. Corpse is now me. This is true. <laughs> I'm <Mitchell. laughs> this, is, this is indeed true. Uh, I don't even think I lit the Molotov. I mean, we did better. All right. Why does it always default to War Veteran? Stealthy doesn't seem to be working much, but I'm going to stick with it. And there's another gravestone. Rip Adesif. Rip Adesif 2. Do you think it was lit? I mean, I, I died the turn I lit it, so... I don't like starting in a dark room. Stone wall, moss grown stone wall. What the heck is that? There's corpse bits everywhere. There's a fountain up there. Hmm. There's a rat thing. Rat things don't seem particularly aggro, so I'm just gonna let them walk away. There's a cultist in my view. And a pit viper. Wait, what? Fierce predator. Um, it hisses melancholy and venom drips from its fangs. Change to hit the pit vipers 98% because they are unaware. They cannot be harmed by poison. I don't think that's true. They cannot be harmed by their own poison, though. But they can be harmed by poison in real life, but... All right, so that way seems scary. I'm going to walk away from that and go one of the other directions that are available, because there are a few. You can attract them by yelling. Good to know. But there's also a viper there. Thank you for the heads up. I'm just going to see what's this way. Oh. Hey, a door. A secret is revealed. Ooh. A stick of dynamite. Don't mind if I do. Fountain and a murky potion and a pitchfork excellent 
So now I can be part of the angry mob. Cool. All I need is a torch, uh, and then I will fit right in. Rat things in my view. We'll let it just leave and do its thing. Uh, yeah, well, I'm saying yes, but not really, Sidetrack. I played this, I've played it for about 30 minutes. This is my first time playing on stream. The deepest you got was with the ghoul character. I, I'm just going to kill you. Um, I'm going to walk away from that cultist. So I guess we got to yell then. Make noise, I think. Make a noise, N. I make some noise. Why was I expecting the game to scream? I'm going to pray to this holy symbol. I make a prayer. Rat thing's in my view. Did the rat thing actually hit me? Hmm. Well. I'll wait quite a few turns and just see what happens. Oh, there's something coming. The cultist sees me. The cultist screams, Prolectus was a blit. It's wielding a revolver, so maybe if I close the distance, it won't hit me. Okay. I hit it. Ow! You said they won't hit me, when they won't shoot me in melee review. Mm. Fire, it, it kicked me and then fired. I jump back into melee range. I struck it with a hatchet. And I struck it with a hatchet again. Okay, let's unload. Yep. Unload the pistol. Pick up the 38 bullets. Okay, so I killed the cultist and I got the bullets. And then there's the pit viper. Seems ag ag aggravated. But it also doesn't seem to be super interested in, in just murdering me. The spitting cobra, well that's not concerning at all. What are you? Statue of a ghoulish creature. Well, there's nothing of that. And then this is just a statue. So how far was the deepest you got then, CCX? Ugh. There's a chest behind me. And then a bookshelf. There's a rat thing. Ow. Cool. I was wondering what the 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 this that that thing would do. Can I fumble blindly on the bard gate and you fail to close it? Bump into something. All right, I can see again. That wasn't too bad. Could have been a lot worse. Doesn't seem to be chasing me. I, I, I've known of it. I don't believe there's any major roguelike I'm not at the very least aware of or have fumbled with. The Patreon picks are three games that I put up that I choose. So they're games that I'm either interested in or games that I've played before that I want to play. So I don't 
post games on my Patreon pick that I haven't heard of. Couple of floors, nothing to brag about. Okay. There's a rat thing. They don't seem particularly aggro, but then they do that, so. <laughs> All right, dead end, brilliant. Let's turn on the lantern, turn off the lantern. Suddenly a wall collapses. Eh. A bloated corpse is in my view. I've discovered bloated corpse. What exactly is that? A walking cadaver of towering proportions, it seems to have the skin of countless other bodies poorly sewn over it. On its own, festering wounds on its hulk continually disgorge an acidic liquid. It has belched beyond its belief. Lovely. Chance that the bloated corpse in mainly com melee combat is 75%. They usually dwell beneath... Level three, and they appear to move slowly. All right, so I think this is a walk away situation. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, close the door. Viper. We meet again. <laughs> Or Cobra, rather. Yeah, there probably could be. But I feel like... All right, we're fighting this, I guess. Got him. I feel like it's time to pray. Not be swayed by fear. Nothing can disturb my mind. Search the bookshelf. Pick up a manuscript. Pick it up. And I destroy it. Because I am a exorcist. <laughs> Strike the viper with a hatchet. The viper dies. The rat thing sees me. Strike the rat thing with the hatchet. The rat thing dies. Pit Viper is aggravated. Hey, George, how are we? Open the chest. I pick up an M1911 <laughs> Colt. Damn. Unload. Uh... I think I'll pick it up. Pick up a Winchester. 30 bullet. Strike the pit viper with the hatchet and the hatchet. The pit viper. The hatchet dies. No, the pit viper dies. Walk through the vines and we appear to make it to the other side. All right. I'm just going to ignore the tomb. Because there's a tomb there. Which I'm just going to choose to ignore. So I guess I'm on the other side of that lantern from earlier down beneath me. You can kick statues into the enemies. Interesting. All right. Keep that in mind. Up. Uh. The cultist looks wary. Well, there's two cultists. I turn my lantern on, mistakenly, and walk away! Close the door. I think now would be a good time to uh, spike the door. Cannot apply that. Uh, see? How do I spike the door? You can kick lanterns over? Noted. Uh, could also just walk away from the door. Hmm. Go 
cultist is in my view, I guess I step forward. What are you wielding? It's got a sawed off shoddy. Hmm. This seems bad. Well, I struck him one. Cultist dies. Low HP warning, yep. Cultist kicks me. And I'm dead. Just close an already door. Oh, so if I closed the door a second time, I could have spiked it? Gotcha. And then I could have run away. Oh well. Live and learn. I'm gonna go check something real quick. I can start. And then we'll do another run. We're just gonna keep doing these. sugar is low. I was thinking these insanity effects are very effective. <coughs> I mean, we're getting better. Sort of. Not that time, but. Yeah, I don't know how much I um, like stealthy. Although... Plus two spirit points. I haven't actually leveled up yet. Well. You just close an already closed door and that spikes it. Noted. Yeah. I have a question. Is there ever anything in this first floor? Because <laughs> it doesn't seem like it. It really just kind of seems like you just go forward and move down the floor. There's like cages. But anyway, George, how's your day been? This is a bit of a uh, a weird chat. I'm very unimpressed at your inability to say hello to George after George said hi. There's a door at the back of that one. Not suspicious at all. I'm starting to just get very, 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 very scared of dead ends in this. That's two dead ends now that I've met my demise in. <laughs> you literally just woke up. Yeah, I know that feeling. I feel like I just woke up, even though I woke up a while ago. The way is blocked. All right, dead end at back of cage, I suppose. 
Looks like I kind of peek through. Oh, never mind. It's locked. That's a sound. Waters everywhere. There's corpses on the floor. Ah, something happened in here. Bloody rubble. Suddenly the wall collapses. <coughs> Lovely. Reanimated corpses. Well, let's try the, um... At least I got some XP. Let's try the, uh, Molotov cocktail. Light it. Now, how do I throw it? Do I? F if I'm not wielding a firearm. Okay. There we go. Well, this seems Bernie. I guess I'm going to move up into the left. That's one. So they wade through need high water. The reanimated corpse dies. Corpses can be destroyed by pressing K or W. This is very useful against certain types of monsters. Some weapons such as hatchet as machetes make it easier to destroy corpses. Check the item description to see if a weapon has a bonus. A well-placed stick of dynamite or a Molotov cocktail is usually a very effective way of stopping persistent monsters. <laughs> Killed that first one. How did you pass me? Killed you. And you. Killed that corpse. Life lift gruesome corpse rises again. A handful of zombie dust. The fuck is that? Stone floor with smoke on it. Okay. Let's just keep walking. Hmm. So if I kick this, is it going to just go right past, go like flat to the tile next to it? Or is it going to spread out in a cone or something? So I've got this cultist here now, which I could close the gap with by moving up left. Depending on what it's uh, wielding. Why can't I get your description? So I have to V twice. It's currently unaware of me. Chance to remain undetected by the cultist is currently five. So let's close the gap. Smack him. He kicks me. Shoots. I'm wounded. Oh, so I guess being wounded... Just drop my HP down to one. And I'm dead. Well, that was our worst one yet. Let's try this again. So I'm open to um, like tips and stuff, but in order for me to like actually wait for them, the chat needs to be relatively active. It's been five minutes since the last time someone said anything. So uh, if you want me to wait for your hip hints or tips, you guys got to help me out here. Keep the communication rolling. Otherwise, I'm just going to be left to my own demises. I suggest going right. I suggest, you know, communicating. 
keeping things interesting for everybody involved. It is a stream, right? Wouldn't be much of a stream without some interaction. Do not die. Thanks for your helpful tips. You get your shit kicked? I mean, that's that's fine. <laughs> Buckwheat and veggies? Ooh. I don't know what I'm doing for dinner tonight, actually. Probably pasta. I kind of have less options because I have this dog that I have to take care of. Uh, wheat that costs a dollar. Found this, which I can... That button. Purged it. I feel more spirited. Times two, and I get 15% of my level's worth of XP. I feel like leveling up in this game is going to be... a massive... Assistance. I destroy the profane text. What's up, Vin? It's good to see you. One when I'm not in danger? Yeah, it's all good. If anybody wants to try this game, if you haven't, there's a link. You don't need to apologize for not knowing about it. It's all good. It's more just a... My, the, the more people talking, the easier my job is, if that makes any sense. Let's swap to the machete. Machete attacks with... Uh, melee attacks with machetes are noisy. Are they noisy with the hatchet? Oh, so the hatchet is silent. The machete is noisy. Can be used for destroying corpses more efficiently while a weapon is wielded. Its attack damage is automatically used... Instead of kick damage. Interesting. It's a bit heavy. It's as heavy as my medical supplies. You know what a Google site is, right? Brander? It's just easy website hosting. Winchester rifle. This area is scary. I'm going to run away. Hmm. All right, let's try kicking this. I mean, it wasn't scary after I ran away, so okay. All right, so it kind of... Four tiles around it, I guess? What's random? I don't understand the question sidetracked. Or the statement. Tonight, as the last night you're going to be in Wales, you're going to do something uncharacteristic of you. You're going to go out with the family to a pub. You have a good night. Enjoy the, uh, the get-together. Maybe? I mean, I only have one example, so we'll have to uh, get some other test cases to find out, right? There's a lot of rats or rat-adjacent things. It's the first time I've actually taken damage from a rat. But yeah, this does kind of seem like a get your shit kicked in game. I'll wait a few turns. See if I can get my HP back. And since it doesn't cost me anything, I'm going to pray. Make myself immune to fear and shock. Press forward. On floor in the roguelikes? I mean, this is true. Yeah. Actually, you know, it's kind of funny. I was talking to my dad about Tarn Adams' book, 
CCX. Um, and my dad starts talking about how interesting it must be to program um, roguelikes just because like you're, it's this, the player is playing through and then the creator is meticulously designing and uh, designing an algorithm that designs rooms for the player to go through an experience. And it's, as he was describing how he thought that that, that process must be really interesting. I'm like, you know, you're literally describing D&D, &D, which is something that my dad has been like, very against his entire life, mostly because he was very effectively, um, I don't want to say brainwashed, uh, manipulated by government propaganda about how D and D is a dangerous, addictive substance that will murder your children, and only weird, scary people do it. And as somebody who doesn't like D and D but really likes roguelikes, I think that that's fun. All right, dark room. Thanks. Whoa. Cultist fires an M1911 at me. There's two of them. So I've barred the door. Oh, that's a spooky sound. I like that sound. Uh, there was straight up TV advertisements in certain areas about how D&D is bad. So what's best way to deal with this? They didn't hit me yet, so that's a, a positive thing. Well, I mean, you need to remember about where I'm, what I'm breaking into right now, right? Like I'm breaking into a cultist's hideout, right? Like. I don't know if you've ever seen the movie Mandy starring one Nicolas Cage, but there is a sequence in that movie where he drives into the cultist's hideout and just picks up a perfectly good chainsaw and then has a duel with a guy who's holding another perfectly good chainsaw and it turns into a lightsaber battle. So if he could find a perfectly good chainsaw in a cultist's environment, why can't we find a perfectly good Winchester? the saving move mo moment of that movie. That was not the saving moment of that movie. The soundtrack was the saving thing of that movie. Soundtrack of that movie was phenomenal. I loved that movie. Sorry. That's one of those. That maybe my favorite movie to come out that year. But then again, maybe I just do the correct drugs to enjoy that movie. So this chat is very frequently political. So it doesn't really matter. <laughs> And generally, yeah, it's the government doing those things. Like I like I was explaining to my dad, if you want to control a generation, you control the way they play. That's why China bans video games. Um, Or you control the way the children play. If you control play, you control a generation. Um, very fair point on the substance of the entire first half of that movie is a bit of a chore if you're sober. I was sober the first half of that movie, and I enjoyed it. But I, I also, I like really slow, monotonous grinds of films so i i fully understand why lots of people won't like that movie but i loved every minute of that movie i've seen it sober and i've seen it very high and i enjoy it both ways no politics please it says like but you're in his stream who literally like drops politics in chat all the time dude <laughs> but yeah fair enough i understand the mushy brain feels Absolutely. Well, play is about half of it, right? But we're specifically talking about play here. Anyway. um, See, like, my because I guess I'll, I'll just re-point re, re, re a thing about what my dad said is just, um, he was saying that, oh, well, China thinks video games are dangerous. That's why they're banning them. I'm like, no, they're banning them because they want to control the generation, not because they think video games are dangerous. <laughs> anyway. Um, so I got two cultists chasing me. What to do? What to do? I got a stick of dynamite. I got a Molotov cocktail. A revolver. A rifle. Machete. Who <laughs> would allow demons to enter the home? Oh. I wasn't allowed to uh, read Harry Potter because it would make other people at the church mad. Try the Molotov again? I mean,
Well, they broke the door down. All right, cultist is in my view. That's one. And I'm dead. Probably should have just, I should have like chucked the dynamite around the corner. Or actually what I should have done is I should have walked further away until they lost me. That's what I should have done. I like how we're just getting worse. <laughs> like we had two runs that were like pretty good and now we're just like doing significantly worse. Link has a cross on his shield in the first Legend of Zelda? What? I need to look at that closer. Once I can kind of wrap my brain around how to get around the first few encounters of this game, I think we're going to get a bit further. I don't trust any of these dead ends. I mean, yeah, but I I don't consider that a cross. <laughs> that's it like that's that's a bit of a stretch. I don't know. I guess it could be interpreted that way. I never really thought of it as that. Okay, so there's st two statues. So I can ki kick statues? Hmm. My hit. Okay. Okay, so I can kick statues. I sprained myself. Great. My leg is sprained. <laughs> I gave myself a sprain kicking a statue. It's just like me spraining my toe kicking a sandcastle. True story. It actually happened. Reanimated corpses in my view. walking away. Do I have any other direction I can go? I don't think so. Yeah, it doesn't look like it. My mom's texting me, so I have to respond. Yeah, I, I know about, like, the weird... Like the the cross ish looking thou. <laughs> God damn it. Bit missed. I got a wound. Damn, these are brutal. Okay, so how the heck do I get past you then? Maybe I'd have to like go up top, make noise, walk around the edge. I mean, you're allowed to post links, yeah. There's no rules about links in this chat. Huh. All right. <laughs> I mean, Japan is fascinated by uh, Western religion, which is why you always kill God at the end of JRPGs. So... <laughs> I have this weird feeling I'm going to end up tricking my dad into trying to make a roguelike CCX, which I think would be a lot of fun. Oh, I was like, where's this snake? There's a snake in your view. So I go, I'm like, where the fuck is it? To have enough project time to be able to work on a roguelike. Having free time to be able to do what you want is the most valuable thing you can get from a job. It's like, screw getting paid lots of money. I just want 
fair hours. Uh -oh. Why are you in the wall? I guess rat things can just like go through the walls. I suppose because they are just rats. They're rather small. Uh, no, not in my footwear. Cultus looks wary. I don't think he saw me. Rat things in my view. The game does say on the website that most enemies can be avoided, so I'm trying to avoid things. But it certainly likes to put you into situations where things can't really be avoided. This is an interesting room. There's the stench of decayed flesh here. What is this, a torture chamber? Oh, reanimated corpse. Lovely. All right, well, um, I've discovered reanimated corpse. Wait, is that dynamite? It is indeed dynamite. Well, now's a perfectly good time to test dynamite. Light the stick of dynamite. <laughs> Looks wary. Time to test the dynamite. See what happens. Dead. Reanimated corpse sees me. You hear an explosion. The reanimated corpse dies. Isn't it already dead? It's more of a... Reanimated corpse is no longer animated. So did you already go to the pub with your family, Stone, or are you going to go to the pub soon? Figuring out the hotkeys, though, so that's good. Something happened up in that hallway. I'm going to walk around that. A neat little room, Jen. Deaminated, no longer animated. Spooky sounds. Also, I have a question. Isn't an electric lantern a um, <clears throat> flashlight? Stairs. Must step on stairs. We made it. Yay. Going some point later. Gotcha, gotcha. Well, get, get some good pub food at the very least, right? Get some good pub food. Pub food good. But like, I, I've been thinking, I've been bothered by this electric lantern since I first saw it. The wolf looks wary. Don't like the wolf. So I sneak this way and close the door. Bonk. How come they... Can I kick the door? I sprained my foot on kicking the door. Oh, no. Something's coming from the other side. Hmm. So you can click locked do kick locked doors. But they don't seem to be super... Oh, God. There's two wolves. I I stuck the door, but they hmm. Hey Axon. <laughs> when there is food. Pub food can be good. I don't know. Pubs usually have like I keep spraining myself, kicking this door. 
Yeah, dynamite might. Can I purge the door? Nope. I'm going to pray. And try some dynamite. Light the dynamite. Throw the dynamite. Uh, ooh, hey, it did. But, um, Axon, this is a game that's going to take many hours of your life away, potentially. No way to open it. Perhaps it's handled elsewhere. So there's a lever somewhere. Ooh, shit, there's actually an actual... <laughs> Not only did I, did I blow the door up, I also blew up the wall that had a room containing a green potion and, um... A leather jacket. So I have um, discovered a sec multiple secrets and a leather jacket. So I'm going to um, be a cool biker, and uh, I am now wearing a leather jacket. <laughs> Excellent. Uh oh, more secrets. Winchester bullets, a spiked mace, nice, and a violet potion. It's a bit heavy. That maze. I have a 25% chance to stun the victim, rendering them unable to act for a brief time. Pretty standard. Melee attacks with spiked mazes are noisy. I think I might drop the mace. Keep the axe. The noisy thing is very sketch. Spitalier, thank you very much for the first notification of money of the day. And also for being the first person to gift a sub this week. Cheers. Thank you much. Jack, can I get a round of bees? Be bees? Round of bees, sure. Round of beers uh, or rocks for Spitalier. 443 subs total. Jesus Christ, man. And thanks for helping keep the channel funded. Because someone has to. A raven? Oh, that's new for me. Uh, the raven is currently unaware of me. They appear to move very swiftly. Well, it's about to know that I'm here. I missed. I hit it. It blinded me. Hmm. I pulled the lever. Close this door. And the door's open. Okay, so lever levers open blue doors. And that's a wolf. An alien slayer keeping that subscription alive for an 11th month with Prime. Big thank you. I pray. I hit the wolf. I missed. The wolf bites me. My leather jacket is torn apart. The wolf dies. I wait some turns. But seriously, Alien Slayer, thank you very much for keeping that subscription alive. Thank you for helping keep the stream funded. Not my jacket. Yeah, not my jacket. How do I swap to the uh, secondary weapon? Is it S? No. Aim fire weapon. Is it Z? Okay. That's kind of what I was trying to figure out in that menu, but I didn't even realize I had it equipped. Black Mamba, that's, there's a lot of very exotic snakes in this church.
They also don't seem to be super interested Ugh. in fighting as it comes up and fights with me. And from the fountain, the fountain dry dries up. Oh, there was also a bunch of wolves up there, so I'm going to not go that way. Maybe that wolf that we ran into was one of those. Uh oh, I hear a growling. Eh. It's a reanimated corpse. Let's just <laughs> peek down one. That's a uh, scary. <laughs> oh, Jesus, they broke that down fast. Can I kick you? I miss. Choo -choo. I missed again. Quick luck. Thanks for the five dollars, Brander. I kicked him back. Lock the door. Bar the door. Close another door. Keep moving. They either stopped or they broke the door down. All right, well, we got out of that, and I dropped my phone. Oh, hi, Ryan. Tip 2935 colon unpicked up. Frog will dump core as a self-defense tactic. Over time, as frog is just to being handled, a T will dump core less often. Hopefully jumping core doesn't cause thermal nuclear wa waste to uh, spread into the general vicinity. But uh, thank you very much for the Tier 3 resub for the 48th month. Um, I'm scared of that lever. Also don't like how this is like looping back around it. I hear a click. I disarm the trap. There was a trap underneath me. Yeah, I've been having that feeling with every single resub that I've been getting recently, Ryan. Chat, can I get a big round of beers for the, the, the train and Ryan with the tier three for 48 months and the $5 from Brander and the, the gifted subs and the beer sub? Cheers, guys. And if you don't know how to do that, just type in the word beers. Ow! That one I didn't get to disarm first. But I have a wound. So do wounds just go away? Or do they just keep me from healing? I think they just keep me from healing. Oh, Raven's back. Oh, no, they don't stop me from healing. Ooh. All right, so there's a bunch of scary things back here. They also do appear to move very slowly. Ugh. Of course it's a dead end. That's like at least one year. Yeah, I think that's about, it's about, yeah, it's about, it's about one year, give or take a month. I can kill the raven with one hit. The problem is hitting it. Hey, we got it. All right. All right. Screw, screw that whole zone over there. <laughs> I'm just going to go this way. So has to have been the scariest level one I've had yet in this game. Brilliant. So you know all those scary things that I locked in there? Yeah, they're still there. I'm purple. I'm assuming that means my insanity is close to being full. All right, so where the fuck do I go? I know there's a mini-map in this. Hold on. It's lowercase m. Uh, well... 
Hold on. Gotta go check my blood sugar again because I was low a minute ago. Need to go see where I'm at. Thank you very much for the train, guys. I will be back in a moment. Also, hey, Peter. Hope you're well. Huh, Ryan, thank you very much for gifting out a sub. Cheers. Why didn't the second notification from you gifting it out? Or why did those notifications show up backwards? That's confusing. Well, it seems like I need to run past that mass of worms. So hopefully it, I was gonna, I was literally about to say, hopefully it moves away from the door. Hey, it moved away from the door. All right. It also triggered two alerts. I've had that happen sometimes. I think that's just Twitch and um, OBS not be behaving. But I've, I've seen that happen a couple of times. There's a lot of fucking dogs. This is a massive waste of a Molotov. Okay, so that was a bad idea. I am burning. So I'm assuming I'm dead? Yeah. So I can't throw things over things. Noted. That's not a good place to get blood. Well, I mean, it's a good place to get blood, but it's a good place to get a lot of blood, not a very small amount of blood. Why are you asking me personal questions about my body and my blood sugar, George? How about you don't ask me questions like that? Why does it always start nothing in complete darkness? Well, there's some XP right there. I destroy the profane text. Very dark in here. There's also a gun over here. which has a bullet in it. On the upper layer? Why would I want to throw rats around? Well, I mean, it's less of that, more of a, if you want to understand how blood testing works for diabetics, Google it. And no, you don't test in your arms. That's silly. Where the fuck did you come from? The room was empty a second ago. Oh, there's a reanimated corpse here. <laughs> Perplexed. Stealthy clearly not working. Let's try healer. I don't know what you mean, CCX, with that last statement. Above, arrow, over. I don't know what that means. 
but if you're saying that there's things up here that I can throw around, I haven't seen anything up top because like I've explored, I've explored these upper arrows a couple areas a few times, and I haven't found anything. Thanks for the train, guys. Cheers. So there's a locked door, an open door, and a hallway. I'm leaving the hints on because they're definitely going to have helpful things. That's a distressing room. Let's go this way. Seriously, Brander, thanks for the five bucks, and Ryan for gifting a sub, and Spitalier for gifting a sub. Thanks for helping this weird channel stay funded. Without generous people, it wouldn't be funded. Quite literally. <laughs> so I need you guys. Dead ends scare me. I'll be honest, I was kind of hoping I would get more uh, chat assistance on this one, but... How do you tell the difference between the size of a creature, CCX? And immediately your internet died? All right, well, my answer was, please don't ask me personal questions about how I test my blood sugar. If you want to understand how to test blood sugar as a type 1 diabetic, Google it. Testing in your arms is ludicrously stupid. So if you're going to ask a very personal question, at the very least, make sure that you're researched first. All right. Picked up a spice mate. Spiked mace. My previous statement still stands, George. So we know where the stairway down is. Let's see if we can find anything helpful. Ooh, I can unlock the locked door. You really need to re-familiarize yourself with the game first. That's fine. I'm just complaining. Where seems to be stuck. Regret. Did he see me? And there's a poisonous snake. And there's a rattling. I think it's, I guess it's like if they have a blue background, they're small, maybe? Or maybe if they haven't seen me, they have a blue black, blue a background. Ow! Did that hit me? No, it didn't. It was just a reflexive response. I figured I was dead when it saw me. My my problem is I, I don't really know how I should be approaching a lot of these situations. And there's obviously like pretty specific ways to be approaching things, but I don't really know what the game wants of me, if that makes any sense. And I, I'm assuming that it, it's just a trial and error and discovery thing. Feel more spirited. Locked door. Already open door. Gas mask, and I hear a click. So I picked up a gas mask, I heard a click. Which means I am in a trap. It seems to be a smoke trap. I disarmed the trap. Not too big of a deal. Let's pick up that gas mask. So 
So does hmm. we've been using a revolver to attack the baddies, but the ammo is limited. I feel like I should be using a revolver to go after the cultists at the very least. I keep on trying to just avoid things, which maybe is not the wisest idea. Oop. There is a corpse in front of me. And a floating skull. Disarm the trap. I'm just going to walk to this door. Oh, Jesus. I can kick you backwards. Lock that door. Close the door. Don't lock it. Just close it. Continue walking. That is spooky. It's such a good sound effect. Holy shit. Uh-oh. Dead end. Not even halfway in. Well, as long as you guys are fine with watching Trial and Error. So we're going to be here all day. I'm a little bit shocked that this game doesn't have a wiki, though. Or at least not one that I could find. If there is one, it's well hidden. Okay, this reanimated corpse is halfway dead. Let's try this. Okay. Anyway. Destroying corpses. Corpses can be destroyed. Yep. Swap to the sword. Or to the axe. Got it. Something spews forth a uh, litany of curses and the spell is resisted. Feel vulnerable to spells. Oh, was it... Was it this thing? A floating skull? Strike the floating skull with a hatchet, it dies. The corpse is rezzed, I kill it. All right, that was pretty smooth from what I can tell. Feel more powerful. Let's pray to the holy symbol and continue moving forward. I wonder if the critters fought with each other. I've discovered the worm mass. Hmm. Because I don't have another way around, at least not that I'm aware of. Our mass is currently 14% and they appear to move slowly. They are unsettling to behold. I want you out of my hallway. Maybe if there's a spell specifically for that? Fair. Okay. It's a pit fighter bear that seems aggravated. Let's kick the mass. Let's kick it again. Sprain myself. Ah, oh, brilliant. It does this. It's a splitter. Uh-oh, that's a dog. I think. Open barred gate and a wolf.
I'm dead. Bet you a dollar I'm dead. I should have just thrown a um, Molotov into that room. Let's see if I can kick it. Got it. <sighs> Kicked it again. The wolf dies. Strike the worm with the hatchet. Strike the worm with the hatchet. And I struck the worm with the hatchet. And now there's um, two, two of them. Now I'm dead. Oops, that's war head. That's war veteran. I'm gonna go back to stealthy, as they were noticing me faster. Yeah, this is very much a. An hang band. Eh, I've, I've, anything that splits in two tends to kill me. Anything that splits in two tends to kill me. And usually, once I realize that they split in two, operation uh, number one is just avoid it. Huh. That's my first time discovering a trap before stepping on it. I disarmed it. Actually, I don't believe I've... Have I died to a splitting enemy in Cud? Maybe. I, they feel like not that bad in Cud, because you always have a lot of AoE abilities in Cud. It is not aware of you. Yeah, that's 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 kind of what I was figuring. Like, and I've I've been doing that with a lot of the creatures, just ignoring them to a degree. Um, but that one was in a like one way hallway, right? <laughs> An altar. Let's get to that altar and destroy it. Ow. Spitting Cobra hits me and it blinds me. Interesting. Nope, that hurt. Really? I've never had a rat thing hit me more than once. <laughs> Let alone twice. Okay, so there's a statue in front of me. Statue of a ghoulish creature. Kind of wish I could see the description of that. Okay, there's a rat thing in my view. Seems disturbed and it leaves. With the worm mask, just walk into it. If it can't see, it'll just. Oh, hey. Interesting. Noted. That one up there is up there, all aware of me. Got you. Watch it kill me. Just need to hit it once. Pick up a flare gun. It's new, so I'll take it. Just gonna wait until I heal a couple bit. Mysterious artifact? Where? Or are you saying like that's the, the goal? Oh, the clear objective. I see. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I see where the question was asked. Yeah, it's it's find the mysterious artifact that's named in the, in the title screen on the bottom floor of the cultist thing. I don't know if there's like an escape run or anything. I don't know if you have to get out with it, but... Pick up a manuscript. Titled Vorex Brada, which I destroyed. There's another one, which I've destroyed. Man, the things I would give for a fountain right about now. Or an exit. That wasn't just... There's a viper that doesn't see me.
Okay, there's a rat thing that's in my view. It doesn't see me. Oh, come on. Killed the rat thing. There's a ghoul in this room. Hmm. There's a door. The exit. Chad with the 11th month. Welcome back for an 11th month. Crypt calcium, crypt wave, crypt metal, crypt there. Thank you much for continuing to watch and support the streams in the ways that you do. Cheers, man. It's boring coffee. <clears throat> the school this semester? Everybody's been mostly lurky recently. Discovered a new aura. And a pillar. Wait a few sets of five turns and heal a bit. By that I mean all the way. Not technically, but basically. <laughs> More or less. I care. So, uh, as you can see by the top right hand corner, uh, we are in the 10th iteration of Adesif. So we've died 10 times. And I've made it off of the first floor, which is a good start. A blinded zealot misses me. Lovely, that's new. I've discovered a blinded zealot. Well, so it's a me? A Mario? Yeah, I remember you saying that you used to speedrun this game or something. Beckoned by a thousand faced moon into the lie lying its mind here for the occult of the psych of its offense, which was ra ravaged by scores of entity from fiendish realities. They had it gouge out its own eyes and tongue, and left it a husk of former humanity. Now it lumbers about aimlessly, brandishing a spiked mace, with which it flays itself in mockery of physical anguish. Streaking, right. Fair enough. Score runs, trying to, you know, win the game consistently. But yeah, we're we're open to tips here, just not straight up spoilers. So don't just be like, do that. But if you want to help, feel free. Dev used to be pretty active in the roguelike Discord. I feel like a lot of devs are pretty active in the roguelike Discord. You know, honestly, you, you know, you know, it's sad. I've never actually managed to join the rogue roguelike Discord because they have that captcha thing required, and my account auto blocks it. <laughs> so I've never actually managed to get into that Discord because their captcha is just like, uh, I thought you were going to say it's Cthulhu, which is literally like the, yeah, duh. Chance to hit the blinded zealot is 65%. They usually dwell beneath level two. Wait, does that mean two and below? Because we're on level two. And a zealot will remember hostile creatures for 16 turns and they cannot visually detect other creatures, but will pursue any threat once aware. Hmm. I feel like shooting you would be a good idea. Kind of figured that's about how that was going to go. Once I learned that there wasn't a door to block. Let's go again. Let's keep stealthy. Keep exorcist. <laughs> it's been years, so you need to thoroughly de rust. Yeah, no, that's 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 the response I'm getting from a lot of people. But we're we're pretty 
light on knowledge here. Hmm. See if he sees me. Snake does. Yeah, he sees me now. I'm dead. All right. That was, I think, the shortest one we've done. Uh, do you have any recommendations for classes to learn the game as? Or is it just, like, do whatever? That's the one thing that I do want to know. Because we've been messing around with Exorcist. He loved rogues. Because, like, I read all of them, and, like, Exorcist seems like the most just survival, but I don't know how accurate that is. I don't really want to do War Veteran, because just running around and shooting everything seems kind of boring. Shock received passively over time is reduced by 25%. 10% chance to spot hidden monsters, doors, and traps. Remain aware of presence of other creatures longer. Can... Eh, sure, why not? Let's try that. Exorcist didn't exist when you played. Fair. Starts off with stealthy. Yeah, you know what? Fuck it. Let's try that. If traits exist, did you have a preferred trait to go with or any recommendations? I like, because all see, yeah, these are all the same. You know, I think I'm going to do that. <laughs> Fuck getting perceived. I also realize I just went with the same name, but that's fine. You don't remember much? Yeah, that's fair. I'm not trying to just like completely, I don't know, claim all of your knowledge here, but. That thing saw me immediately. Rat thing. And something up behind it. And corpses, apparently. Just close that door. I like that the rat just came through. The prison door. Like, it just walked underneath it. That's a funny little detail I like. Sorry for the dagger. Smith & Wesson, and a leather jacket. All right. Rod of cloud mines. When activated, this device clouds the memories of all creatures in the area, causing them to forget the presence of the user. Ooh. Two, two sticks of dynamite, two Molotov cocktails. So I, I have the men in black stick. <laughs> Excellent. Four years ago? Noted. Yeah, I, um, I've never streamed this before. So. This is pretty new to me. So, Exorcist destroys these. Recite the incantations. I feel powerful. Plus 20% XP. Damn. Spiked mace, which I'll pick up. Another rat thing. One time I, I opened a coffin, I almost died immediately. So to anybody who does play this, favorite race, class, curious as to why. Okay, there's a snack in there. Two re reanimated corpses. Mm. I don't like the reanimated corpses. They're, they seem mean. I'm going to go take this other door. Like, just seeing enemies gets you XP, so. Or at least seeing them the first time gets you XP. Whoa! Buddy! Um. 
Where the fuck did they come from? Open a bard gave the animated corpse growls like they just appeared. There's three of them. I am now infected. Infections should be treated as soon as possible. Common way of doing this is with a medical bag. Only requires a small number of turns and resources, but if the work is interrupted, the effort is wasted. Just trying to get away. Uh, let's see if I can <coughs> kick that. All right, and then move down maybe. Oof. Kick you back. I mean, of course, it moves. This is, but it can move again. Stab you. Yep. Got that much. Yeah, I think I'm dead. Shoot them. Swapping to the pistol would take a turn. But uh, it's too late. So. The fact that you have to take a turn to, to shoot them or to swap to the pistol makes me very uninterested in swapping to it. I think that's always the last thing I want to do. Found a manuscript. And those go into my inventory. Or are those just XP pickups? I think they're just XP pickups. Also, shooting the corpses like did no damage the last time I tried shooting them. Can read the manuscript. I'm pretty sure that's what I just did because it's not in my inventory. I, oh, I see. It's still on the ground. Duh. I thought I picked it up, but I didn't. I'm assuming it's like any other scrolls where it has unknown effects. That's a weird room. Oh, hey, there's a gas mask back there. But it's locked. Don't feel like unlocking it. There's a trap behind it. Disarmed it. Who? Psychrom? I don't know who you're talking about. Open door. Another open door. No. Oh, secret is revealed. I thought that that was a weird looking room. Bunch of statues and a rat thing. Ghoulish statue. Fountain. Huh. Weird. Never heard of him. Psychrom. Probably irrelevant. Hmm. It's a cultist in my view. What is he wielding? Chance to hit in melee combat is 98%. So I could close the distance and try and stab him, or I could shoot it. Oh my god, he just walks past me. Got him. <laughs> okay, well let's let's uh, pick up the M1911 and the 45 ammo. Close, but no investment. Then. All right, jokes run its course. How you doing, Zycrops? <laughs> uh, 
I was I was thinking of, I was like debating Zychrom as to whether or not going in, I should go into the how do how are, how, how do you not know that I don't have the uh, or how are how come you are self promote or promoting other people in a channel that has very strict no self promotion rules? But then I was like, you know what, this, this joke's getting too far. Let's, let's just stop it here. There's a bunch of decayed flesh here. Oh, hmm. Well, um, hmm. <laughs> uh, huh. Well. There's a discovered a bloated corpse, reanimated corpse. I'm gonna turn the light off. Is this a one use thing? This rod of cloud mines, if I use this, will it, uh. It recharges? Okay. So if I use this in here, then can I. I, I theoretically could sneak through here. From the minds of my enemies. So I can go up here and close the door. It's time based. Sure. <laughs> Found a misty potion. And a leather jacket. Let's swap to the pistol. Oh my god. I am infected. Okay, so it's counting down. It's like 80 or 90 turns. Other jacket is torn. Don't use it until they notice you. Well, the more you know. I thought that they'd all seen me, but maybe they hadn't. Well, I had my light on when I walked in there, and none of them had the blue background, so I assumed that they'd all seen me, but maybe I was wrong. I don't know. It's an alchemist's workbench. Pick up oily potion. It's actually just olive oil. Delicious, we can make a stir fry. So I'm assuming that means the baby was screaming at you last night really loudly, Zychrom? Rogue has taught me to be terrified of water, and now whenever a roguelike makes me climb into water, I'm automatically terrified. Okay, so these guys can't see me because they're still blue. So I can walk away. <laughs> wolf dies, but there's another wolf there. Okay. There's a hammer. Let's see if they leave. They seem to be leaving. A strange device. Small piece of machinery, it could not possibly have been designed by a human mind. Even if it's small, it seems incredibly complex. There is no hope of understanding the purpose or function through normal means. It's definitely a cell phone with no battery. How's my day been? I went to bed extremely early last night. I went to bed at eight. 
and I woke up at 6 a.m. I'm babysitting my parents' dog again, so I have her until Thursday. So I took her for a walk at 7, um, came home and started streaming at 9. Mad polls? I mean, I think that probably eels in Brogue scare me more than mad polls, but that's because mad polls, you can see them in Cud, whereas the eels, you don't see them until you're in the water with them, and then there's an eel biting your leg. <laughs> um, so I, I don't know. I feel like I'm less afraid of mad poles, but maybe that's just me. Hmm. All right, well, let's see if you just leave. Just take the pistol out. <laughs> yeah. It doesn't know I'm here. It also doesn't know I'm here. <laughs> ah, it saw me. Kick. I mean, it was a pretty pleasant morning. Now we're just dying and repeating this game. <laughs> this game is uh, cutting my nuts off and handing them to me in a cloth bag. That's a lovely place to start, surrounded by corpses. like this. I know hitting the button faster doesn't make you survive anymore. All right, excuse me. Can I? For science. Ow. So there's a door I can't open, a room full of water, and a locked gate at the other end. Last time I did that, it sprained my ankle on repeat until I gave up, so. There's a worm mass. Well, that one broke quickly. Might take half of your HP. Okay. How worth it is it to just skip floors? If you kick it with low HP. Uh-oh. Nope, fuck it. I'm just gonna go for the stairs. I think the way we're gonna do this is we're going to sneak, try and avoid everything, and take stairs as soon as they appear available. That's... going to be... the play here. I have 12 throwing knives, apparently. And avoid everything that appears scary. He says that as he pulls a strange lever. Crawling hand is in my view. I know it's there still. I see why you like... Um, the rogues, McCair. So that locks the door behind me. I'm assuming unlocks something else. Iron suit. So can I not open this door? Interesting. Maybe if I... Okay, how the fuck do I drop things? Because it tells me that D is to drop stuff out of my inventory, according to this hotkey sheet. 
but D also then tells uh, selects the headwear option on here. So how the hell do I drop stuff out of my inventory? There's no on-screen hotkey. I don't understand. Somebody please help. Because <laughs> how the fuck do I drop stuff out of my inventory? I'm looking at the hotkeys right now, and it's literally like drop item is D, but drop item is also a select press D and then press, press the same key. This is what D does. It tells me that I'm not wearing any headwear. <laughs> literally. Like I, it, it selects my head is what it does. I've still got the iron suit, which I would like to drop. I can wear it, but I can't drop it. Oh, you X. Okay. I get you. Thank you. <laughs> drop the iron suit. Okay. Really? You won't let me drop that in the doorway? Hmm. Can I throw items? I'm trying to I'm trying to figure out how to flip this lever. Maybe it's like a puzzle and there's another lever that I need to pull. Do you ever just like figure something out and then feel extremely stupid? Because that's me right now. All right, well there's a reanimated corpse on the other side of that. Which means I can probably access it from this side. Maybe not. Yeah, I know I can. But I don't need any HP. I was just curious if it would give me an effect, but it didn't. It's a locked door. That's a pretty redundant locked door. Call 45 magazine. Okay, skeleton or a reanimated corpse is unaware of me. That's probably the one from up above. Just walk around you, walk around you. Sneak past you, oh, come on. Okay. Man, there's so many hands. It's a very handy floor. Let's kill that hand. I don't know why. Interesting. Okay. So now I guess I have to go here and flip this lever again. Ignore the ball of... Worms. Huh. No, it's not exactly what I thought would. Okay. Fair enough. Can I throw dynamite through bars? Or if I... Or is it just going to kill me if I do that? Just statues? What a distressing room. I do feel like I'm getting better at this. Here's some growling and a loud banging. Hmm. Just wait for it to break the door down. 
and shoot it. There's two of them. Oh, they seem to have lost interest. That door is also busted. I could kick it, but that would also probably knock it, or that would probably also cause some issues. Let's go back. I'm assuming when you're in total darkness and the area is purple, you gain insanity a lot faster. Oh shit, like almost instantly apparently. It's one thing I do like about the exorcist is being able to pray and just like avoid all shock. Super helpful. Mr. Handy's behind me. Very helpful. It's what we like to call a handyman. All right, screw this. Let's take a peek in this room. Ow. Door is being opened. Cannot be closed. Swap to knife. Stab, stab. Pick up the gun, I guess. And the bullets. And jump down. Cloud? Cloud what? You're very good at putting information into the chat that I have no idea what you're referencing. <laughs> Which would probably work in a conversation, but don't work when you're talking to somebody who has a bit of a delay and is also just spewing out a stream of consciousness. Trust me, I appreciate it. But you're going to have to describe what you're referring to a little better. Okay, that I can actually just unload. So let's... The two magazine, mag magazines? Magazines for the cult. Just want to drop you and unload it instead. There we go. Unload that one bullet. Do bullets weigh anything? Very little. Hmm. There's a wolf. Currently, I think wolves are the scariest enemy. A putrid ooze. And there's a wolf. Ow. Where is there? Oh, I see the cultist. Got him. I'm also wounded. Continue using it, it'll take seven turns. Six turns, five turns, four, three, two, one. Done, no longer wounded, but the putrid ooze is follow. Let's just walk away from the putrid ooze. And there's a locked door. It's a rat thing on the ground. But yeah, at this point, my job is basically just keep chat as active as possible. Well, hopefully keeping you guys as interested in what's going on in the game as possible. And also keeping myself entertained. So. Best way you can help the stream right now is just keeping conversations moving. Saying hello to people who pop in. Say hi. Do all that stuff. I'm infected because the put putrid ooze is right there, apparently. Then I'll walk away from that and shoot it. Oh, 
Let's just walk away from you. I'm no longer infected, but I've also used most of my meds. Fortunately, now it's following me, so I can just sneak in this way. Unload those two bullets. Let's reload. Cloud was your nickname in high school, or Putrid Ooze was your nickname in high school? Picked up a flare gun. Unloaded the M1911. Guess I go up here and kick this door a bit. That's a lot of scary things. Hmm. Hmm. I kind of wish I could run out of these or run away from these faster. Because it really doesn't seem to be a you can run away from this thing situation ever. And I like running away. Can I kick you? Yeah, no, I, I, I really can't do anything. Just dead. Yeah, I don't, I don't know how to deal with reanimated corpses. So any tips on dealing with reanimated corpses would be very helpful, because I'm not entirely sure how I'm supposed to even approach that situation. There seems to be like very little way to avoid them, but we're improving, so there is that. I would like to actually level up, though. I haven't even seen that yet. Can I would just walk away from you? I can. It's the wolves growling. Count three wolves. Oh, imagine just like walking right past a wolf in a dark hallway. That seems lovely. Speaking of dark hallways. This is going to end well. Surprisingly, it did. Snake. Found an altar. It is blocked. The snake is now aware of my presence. Stab the pit viper. The pit viper dies. That's brave. Pick up a bunch of revolver's bullets. Search the alchemist's workbench, and I found a potion. What happens if I kick the altar? I kicked the altar. Nothing happened. I was hoping someone would make that joke, Brander. Fix your audio. What's wrong with your audio? Should I be trying to explore every level in this game? Like, should I be trying to find all of the things or should I just be powering through? He asks as he continues to explore. There's three wolves there. Play this. Die with me, Zykrom. Where the heck is your lever?
chugged the water. Hmm. One day mentally, yeah, I know, I understand that. I mean, ooh, a secret is revealed. <laughs> okay, thanks. And dead. <laughs> I got a chance to shoot back and he just two shot me. Uh, try anything. Play something casual, something chill. Play cookie clicker. You know, something nice and inviting, wholesome, family friendly. And you can still, like, easily type and communicate with stream. Found a door lever. There's a rat on the ground, which I stealthy killed. I'm just gonna walk away from wherever the fuck you are. Ow! Good timing on that. I might just be dead. Maybe not. Can I unload it? Found a golden potion. Should I? Hmm. You have an isolated container gaming so it can't mess up your work stuff and something borks out with SDL audio setup? Huh. What do you mean by container? I, I read that to mean like you have an isolation. Like a, um, not an isolation, a... What, 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 like a sensory deprivation tank that you game in, which, by the way, would be awesome, but I'm not entirely certain that's what you mean. Also makes, I now now I really 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 want a sensory deprivation tank arcade where it's a sensory deprivation tank, but you get to hold a controller and play Super Mario. <laughs> Have a good uh, water or juice or uh, fizzy drink or whatever you get at the pub. Then so. pubs can be nice though if you're in the right headspace for them. Swimming. There's a pit viper in my view. It doesn't see me. All spells are cast at a higher level when standing at an altar. This includes both spells cast from manuscripts and from memory. These hints can be disabled. I don't have any manuscripts. Spells are something I still need to, like, figure out how they work. Mild frustrations aside, uh, obviously those, those will happen. There's an animated corpse. Two of them. I am enjoying this. I'm dead. I could have maybe survived that, but then the um, then the dog showed up. <laughs> Just some programs, sure, fair enough. But the way I like I, 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 I figured that's what you meant when you said that, but I don't know, in my mind I still imagine that you like are sitting in a sensory deprivation tank. I 
I haven't actually found a, a spell yet off of the Exorcist class, which just destroys them for XP. So, uh, you know. We'll get there. But yeah, that's what the, the, uh, the, the, the knowledge section on the front page said, is that you, you cast them and then you can memorize them. Seems neat. I don't know. I need to actually, like, actually get the opportunity to fuck around with that mechanic. Secret is revealed. It's amazing how secrets are revealed by a flashlight. It's like naturally, it's dark. <laughs> Stench of decayed flesh. What do I have equipped? Hmm. Also, dog behind me. This the wolf bites me. Let's just swap to the knife. Stab him. Oh, is that a Tommy gun? It's a spike gun. Ooh. Oh no, a corpse. Hmm. There's two of them. And this is how I die once again. Maybe not. Destroyed the corpse. Then he got back up and killed me because I reloaded. Couldn't see his corpse, so I figured he wasn't there anymore, but. <sighs> Stretching. Stretching. It's a fun sound effect. Yeah, I guess my biggest issue with this game so far is I'm not totally sure how I'm supposed to deal with a lot of these combat encounters. Like, in my mind, I would just want to run away. Um... But very quickly, it turns out that that's not the case. You can't run away. I can't even see your HP. What? Oh, it's because I haven't hit you yet. Like this. Like, what exactly am I supposed to do here? Like, <laughs> I don't even... I don't even know. <laughs> Sound effects are pretty good, but I just, I, I wish I knew what I'm supposed to do in a lot of these encounters. It's like the tips are very helpful, but there's not very many of them, from what I can tell. It's like, learning this so far very much reminds me of learning Caves of Cut. Where it's like, you just kind of need to figure it out. And also, those fuckers have wall hacks. I think I killed him in the water. Hear a click. Oh, whoops. Wrong button. It's fine. It was just a blinding trap. But, you know, like I said earlier, like, that all just kind of comes with trial and error. That and, like, does anybody else think that the, the, the statues just look like cultists that are going to try and kill you in a second? Or is that just me? Stick of dynamite? Absolutely. Gladly we'll take a stick of dynamite. Sure. 
Sure. I that that's unaware enemies I have zero issue with figuring out. I know how to deal with unaware enemies. Like that that is something that I'm totally fine with. My issue is once there's like five dudes in front of you that all know that you're there, is there any escape method? Cuz it's like I it's like I can stab an unaware enemy. Fair. Okay. I can sneak around unaware enemies. I can get past unaware enemies. It's once there's five people in front of me. How the fuck am I supposed to deal with that? That's the question I have. Because Cloud Mine doesn't seem to do anything. Unless it's dark. Which I don't always have the ability to control. So I don't know. Like that that's I guess my 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 like kind of roadblock here is like how am I supposed to Okay, who uh who turned on the fire alarm? Run around the corner and then cloud me. But they move at the same speed as me, if not faster than me. So how do I run around the corner when I'm in a long hallway and they can see me? All right, so the warm mass knows I'm here. So here, I can go back here and then cloud mind. Like that, that's an understandable situation Ugh. I was hoping I could step over it no this is me asking for advice If I was verbalizing frustration, I would be verbalizing frustration, not directly talking to somebody and asking for them to tell me what to do in a situation like that. I sprained my ankle. All right. A drum of ACP. What? Alcohol, I'm assuming? I hit the make noise button instead of inventory. Whoops. Oh, it's ammunition used by Tommy Guns. Gotcha, gotcha. No, it's just I've, I genuinely feel that there is situations in this game that I have no tools to avoid, and I'm trying to figure out if I do actually have tools to avoid them. Like, that guy can't see me, so it's fine. I can duck out of his vision. But, like, there's... Like, most of my deaths in this game so far, I feel like some of them have been my fault, but then some of them are just because I get swarmed and I have no way of realistically dealing with a swarm. We're just going to descend rather than fighting him. And maybe, like, that's just death. And that's, if that's the case, that's fine. You can disarm the fire trap. You can disarm this trap. So, like, if that's the case, that's, that's, that's fine. But I would like to know that that is death, you know? Two locked doors, and I found a trap. Step into the spider web. The yes or no is always a like, eh. See which door opened, or if either of them opened. Spiderweb is a trap with a different texture. Good to know. Isn't there two? Oh, wait. So a spiderweb is just a visible trap then. <laughs> the 
gate open? Okay, so that's what was open. Open the other one. Well, that's spooky. And there's a sledgehammer. That seems heavy. Root chance modifier minus 15%. I'm not a fan. I don't like low hit chances. I like high hit chances, but uh oh. Didn't even have the chance to uh, disarm that one. Oh, duh. Blinding traps aren't too bad. Um, the thing that I keep on having to like reset my brain for in this game is most roguelikes I've played in the past don't pause the game when events happen. So there's constantly things that pause the game. Every single major event pauses the game. And then you have to hit space to move on to the next turn. Which is like, I'm kind of having to rewire my brain around that. Another sledgehammer. Is that better than the current one I have? Yeah, it is. So it's, it's like oddly tricky having to like remind yourself that you have that you have to unpause the game. So I've had at times where like the game will be paused by a thing and then I will try and unpause it. Okay, you know what? Let's just See where you go. Let's disarm this trap. Let's go here. Oh, you already saw me. Perfect. I tried to close that door and it breaks the door. Da hell. <laughs> Let's kick you. Swap to the gun. Back up. <laughs> like, this is one of these situations. It's like, how am I supposed to fight this? Because I can break that corpse, shoot you, shoot you, reload, and they're just, like, reappearing faster than I can even begin. So maybe I could go here, use the Rod of Clouds. Walk away. Bar that door. Kick you. If I make noise, it's going to notify the rest of them. Oh my god. I'm now poisoned. Poisoned and infected. And it's a dead end. So like, uh, are always the death of you? Fair enough. I okay. Tried to lock it, but I can't. Molotov. Light it. Throw Molotov. Kick you backwards. So, yeah, like, I, I have no idea how I could have gotten away from that, even with all of the abilities that I had. I'm going to use the restroom.
but yeah, blanket uh, statement right now. Like nothing seems to help in situations against reanimated corpses. I quite literally have zero idea of what I am supposed to do against them. So. Like, there's things in roguelikes that's confused me before and then I figure it out after a while, and this is probably one of those, but there doesn't seem to be any immediate logic as to how I'm supposed to avoid them. So, I mean, maybe I'm just... an idiot, but... Oh, hey, my first Tommy gun. Watch the Tommy gun be the answer to all of my concerns. I have, like, no ammo for it, though. Get some XP. Turn on the flashlight, look around, don't see anything, turn off the flashlight. Kill the cobra with a dagger. Get two throwing knives. Thank you. Also, apparently Odd Realm is 20% off. If you want to get a really cheap game that's good for even cheaper than normal, you can do that. He sees me. There's more than one of them. Let's light the stick of dynamite. Toss it right there. Walk away. Close door. An explosion goes off. Wow, it didn't even kill both of them. Motherfucker. I vanish from the minds of my enemies. And I have nowhere I can go from here. Well, that's not totally true, but... I don't know. I, I kind of was... There, there was a lot of enthusiasm for me to stream this game. And I'm very disappointed right now with you guys. Because I was very much expecting you guys to be able to help. <laughs> and you haven't been. Even remotely helpful. Okay, well, I'm going to... Kick that corpse to death so it doesn't come back. And I'm dead, so it doesn't matter. How is that one of my highest scores when I didn't even leave the first floor? I guess it's because of all the XP that I got. It's not just you. There's like at least a dozen people that have been begging me to play this game for the past two years and chat's quiet and very few people are assisting and there's no wiki for this game. So it's like. No, I know. Hayden. like, no, I know. I'm just disappointed with my chat today. That's all. Ooh, that's a new sound. I'm going to walk away from that new sound because new sounds are scary. Uh. Hmm. Gun seems to do no damage to it and then killed it in one shot. Noted. Last time I checked, I'm not your dad, but I... No, I'm not angry. I'm just sad. I'm also not really disappointed. Mm. Alchemist's workbench. Am I swimming? No, it's the sound of the creature up there swimming. The rat up there swimming. Okay. But no, I'm very far from angry. Not even remotely. 
Actually, I think miffed is a really good way to describe how I'm currently feeling. Long hallway, that's scary. Put the door down. A wolf. Let's see if this works. Don't think it will. Okay, so it does it does not work the way that I was informed that this works. You can in fact use it you use um you can in fact use cloud mines while in plain view and they will walk away. You can in fact do that. Wait until the fire finishes burning. Yeah, I don't know how many turns it takes to explode, though. And I haven't counted. But yeah, that... Seems pretty logical, yeah. Although that wasn't dynamite, that was um, a Molotov, which explodes on contact. Oh, there's a five next to the fzzz. Noted. Where did the wolves come from? I wonder if they came out of there. Once again, I'm dead. To be clear, I'm not mad at the game right now either. I'm just very confused. I, I'm not sure what the game wants me to do in most of these situations. And I'm disappointed in chat for being so not enthusiastic. Uh-oh. I hear a click. Disarm. Thanks for the tips about disarming, though. It might take me a while to figure that out. Just walk away from those. They don't seem partic to particularly care about your existence. Let's try that with dynamite. Fizz. Fizz. Oh, I see. The Zeds disappear. Wait a few turns. Also debugging your system. Seems like your system is annoyingly confusing. Shoot the hand. Kick hand. I think that killed it. Kicking it. Fountain. Drink from the fountain. 1911, which I don't actually have ammo for. Handful of zombie dust. Plus 15%. What? Wait? When thrown at a living, non undead creature, this powder causes a paralyzation. Hmm. Interesting. Let's consider, let's continue being enthusiastically confused. There's a trap right there, which is in a very inefficient place. I'll say at least the UI in this game makes a lot of sense generally. 
tile set's also very clear. Uh-oh. There's a gas spore in my view. Discovered a gas spore. It didn't see me, so I walked past it. Oh, hey. The way down. We shall descend. All right, so there's no visible door. Time to go rub up on some walls. There we go. We're on the second floor, meaning I've done better than half of my runs already. Also kind of wish the game would tell me if what I'm doing is making noise. I kind of wish that there was a piece of UI for that. But I'm assuming if the game makes a noise, it means I'm making a noise at this point. That's my current assumption that may or may, 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 or may not be correct. Manuscript page. A vampire bat. Great. Well, at least it's just a bat, not just a vampire. Uh oh I hear a click. Disarm the trap underneath me. The bat doesn't seem particularly interested in hor horrifyingly murdering me. No, there is no value in killing enemies, aside from self-preservation. Trust me, I'm well aware of this. This is the this is the way I've been trying to approach this the entire time. <laughs> Let's see if I can cloud your mind and just walk away. Seems like I can. Game will not play the door opening sound with that skill. Also, spraining to me seems like a much scarier thing than it actually is. Like, sprain, sprain doesn't seem to actually affect you much. All right, well, you broke that door down for me. Uh-oh. That's who broke the door down. It's a blinded zealot. But fortunately, it is blind, so it can't heat it can't see me. Okay, twelve turns, I think. Yeah, until I can use my rod again. And also you. Okay, so there's two of you currently on the chase. Got him. Unloaded that. We used the backstab. There's mind worms, so I'm assuming those are just worse version of the other ball of worms. Only if you're playing ghoul. Yeah. Well, the the it seems seems like. Ghoul and the military chief one both kind of benefit from killing, mostly because the the uh, war veteran class seems to get a lot of benefits towards killing. So obviously you're going to want to kill things with that class. But yeah, the, the, the ghoul is benefited by eating corpses. Which I don't know, I, I feel like Playing this game violently while learning it is maybe the wrong way to go. I could I could be wrong there. I don't like that the ooze can go through walls. Okay. 
zealot there didn't see me. Stabs me with a dagger. My jacket got torn apart. Rod of cloud mines. It was really good and really fun. I tend to agree, yeah. Not super fond of um, how much of a pain in the ass it is to... Uh... Oh, there's a door behind me. I'm not super fond of how much of a pain of the ass ammunition is later on. But... Just have to block line of sight here. I need the flashlight. Okay, I'm just going to light a stick of dynamite. Actually, no, no, I'm not going to light the stick of dynamite. I'm going to make a mad dash for the stairs. Got it. Welcome to level two. I leveled up. We're making progress. Ah! <laughs> Holy shit. A chill runs down your spine. Cool. I actually leveled up. <laughs> it only took how many runs? 22? 23? But yeah, I really like the current patch of Jupiter Hell as well. Although I'm I'm kind of hard-pressed to think about that right now because I'm doing this. Always aware of nearby creatures. I feel like Vigilant's really good. Plus six hit points, plus 10% chance to uh, avoid paralysis. Stout Spirit. I too like beer. Using medical equipment requires only half the normal time and resources. Also seems helpful. All your melee attacks are silent regardless of the weapon, and creatures are not alerted when you open or close doors or swim. That also seems really good. I feel like it's either Villagent or Silent. Maybe Silent right now and then Villagent. So we're going to take Silent. I hear a click. Oh, well. It's just a smoke trap. No no biggie. Disarmed the trap and coughed. Which I'm assuming makes noises. Another disarmable trap. I'm very, like, eerie about these big empty rooms. Hmm. Okay, so breaking doors open. Still not silent. I'm going to, before they see me. No. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Cloud their minds. Let's wait for them to leave. Okay, so breaking doors open. Hmm. The corpse is in view. Does it see me? It does not notice me yet. So maybe I can just... Turn off the light. Had this yesterday? Mm. Ooh, that's a neat looking can. How hoppy was that? I like that they call it loopy. <laughs> Looks tasty. Hmm. Blech. 
Should I turn my ambient sounds back on? I kind of turned them off a little while ago. Ow! <laughs> See, now I have no idea what to do because they found me. So, we got 32 turns. So I'm just fucked then, I guess. Eh. Well, explored to dungeon level four. I think that was our, our, our best. Yeah, that was our best run so far. Our 22nd run. Yeah, the only ones that seem like combat -y are the ghoul and the war veteran, just because the war veteran starts with every single combat ability. But I don't know. I, I really don't want to play this game combat -y. And the reason I don't want to is because like everything about it seems like it's a stealth game. And I kind of want to play it that way. Or try to, anyways, but those reanimated corpses are a pain in the ass to get past, so. Yeah, not, it, I, it's, we're, get, we're getting better, slowly. I mean, Jimmy Tibby in chat earlier today said that the deepest they got after 15 hours of play was floor six, so, you know. Does anybody know how many floors are even in this game? Because I don't know. The the length on um, Rogue Basin just says medium. Which I'm assuming is about four to six hours for a full run. At least six. Thanks, Captain fucking Obvious, for the less than assisting answer. Two rat things. Those are easy to kill, fortunately. Oh, hello. There's an occultist right there. Got him. Drop the pump shotgun. That I'm gonna take. Cannot apply that. How do I equip it? Ah, uh, okay. I got you. Pump shotgun. Swap the pump shotty. Reload what I have. Ah, uh, that seems helpful. Feel free to link it. I'm just really sad that this game doesn't have a wiki, because I really would like to just wiki play this game, but... Paste bin will work. All right, so basically, like, this thing's tip for noise. It's just don't, it's, it's, the, the, their tips to not get swarmed is just don't make noise. Thanks, duh. They suggest examining tombs dozens of times. Hmm. Why are oozes not illegal? I like that. Are apparently the hardest class? Are they now? What class does it suggest? I haven't read that far in. I don't feel like just sitting there and reading it now.
Yeah, literally, it's just like all of the tips are in there are basically just don't make noise. Everything else seems kind of common sensey to me, but maybe I'm just a big dummy. Hmm. Curious if, because this is actually my first time getting poisoned while not in like a constant fight. I'm wondering if it's gonna kill me. Okay, so it only, it only lasts sex number of turns then. Uh, no, okay. Oh, it's the one that, it, it's not the starter one, it's just the one that it highlights. Well, I'm gonna play what I wanna play, <laughs> especially considering like, what I was saying earlier, which is I don't want to run around and shoot everything. If I wanted to run around and shoot everything, I would play Jupiter Hell. So I'm all right with playing a harder class. It's an interesting play style because to me, like the stealth is what makes this game interesting. Maybe I'm wrong there, but. I mean, obviously combat would be easier because combat is a set of verbs that People are more acquainted with in video games. People are certainly... Two Molotov cocktails, that's a valuable pickup. Because people are certainly less acquainted with... Um... Stealth than they are with just shoot the thing in the head. It's the more normal video game, I suppose, reaction to just turn around and shoot. Let's try this noise machine. This might fit. Bit too loud, I think. Turn it down. How's that for some ambient background? What do we think, chat? Good? Yes? No? Pitchfork. Does Pitchfork have any extra reach? Pitchforks are useful in keeping attackers at bay, plus 15% chance to evade melee attacks, and victims are pushed back when stabbed. Welcome back, Jimmy. I don't want it to be too loud or overbearing or anything, but I don't like it when the game gets absolutely silent. It's fine for me if I'm just playing, but it's not great for stream, so. Also, thanks for this pace bin. I'm just like control effing it constantly now. So are you just grinding Jupiter Hell then, Axon? Hmm. But yeah, no, Create Talk is very much correct. It's like the the tip of all tips that I've already figured out, which is just don't fucking make noise. <laughs> How to be good at Infra Arcana. Make as little noise as possible. Crawly hand, creepy crawler. Aren't isn't that what creepy crawlers are in Dwarf Fortress? They're just crawling hands. Halfway through IO, do you are you playing primarily on UV now? If so, congratulations, you're better than me at the game. Killed one wolf, but I don't actually need to fight these wolves. Uh -oh. Sounded bad. Yeah, there isn't too much area unexplored left in this map. Well, I mean, if, you, if you're... if you Okay, I've never made it that far on UV. So... 
I would argue that yes, you are better than me at that game if you if you're making it that far in UV, even remotely consistently. I can make it to Europa consistently on ultraviolet. All right, well, we return here. I'm getting kind of high on the uh, <laughs> evil feels. Hmm. Going to kick you. And just make a mad dash for the stairs. We made it. XP. Yeah, I feel like in games like this, difficulty among classes is almost always personal preference and play style that you're used to. Spot a spear trap. Let's disarm it. I'm going to try alternatives to that route. Close that. Intriguing. I don't have any manuscripts. There's a gong up there. Let's just walk around the wolf. Yeah, hit P and then, I mean, so this is the way I'm playing this right now. <laughs> I have the screen, a screen cap of the <laughs> uh, items and then behind it, there's this paste bin of tips. Um, so that's, that's what we're doing. Also, yes, I could turn my face on if I wanted to. I just received an email about Dorf Romantic that is entirely in German. <laughs> Which is helpful. Thank you, Dorf Romantic. I don't speak German. Or I can't read German anyway. What, to the enemies? The enemies having the accuracy buff? Giving the enemies an aimbot makes sense to you? So I got this guy over here, this blinded zealot. So I think what we're gonna do, we'll just keep him at arm's length and then do this. Activate clown of mines and they forget I exist. Oh, he walked up to me, so I just kinda have to duck down that way. Raven doesn't know I'm here. Looks like he's just kind of doing laps. Oh, I see. So you, you what you're what you're saying is you you personally are more careful. Yeah, I, I've definitely run into that on roguelikes where if I turn up the difficulty, I play better. All right. So opening that notified him of me. Oh, Jesus. gonna run the woof. dead never mind walking into that room was a mistake I guess my own personal rule is see staircase, take staircase, unless staircase is completely safe. That's a lot of snakes. Yeah, don't you just love it? 
I kind of wish that my character had better hearing. There is a perk, which is just enemies are visible at all times, which I might just start taking. <laughs> Another one bites the dust. I mean, we've only been through, what, 20? Three now? Pretty sure that's the num or tw 23 is because we're on the 24th. Yeah, once again, take stairway, win C stairway. Door that can be unlocked via lever. Um, oh, wait. Didn't realize that that was a door that I could go through. A locked doorway. All right, there's a blinded zealot. Let's see where he goes. All right, so it seems like he's just kind of doing laps in that little circle there. So I should be able, hopefully, to get around him somehow. Oh, shit, there's another rat. Well, there's the lever that opens up that first door. Hmm. Yeah, we should be good. Took a bunch of damage from that. <laughs> Fucking wolves. Swap over to the gun. Shoot it. Nothing there. Looks like there's a reanimated corpse. Two reanimated corpses. I'm gonna light the Molotov. And I'm going to throw it. Right there. Pull out the gun. Oh my god. There's so many of them still here. You know, screw it. It's not worth it. I'm going to go here, and I'm going to use this. Cloud their minds and walk away. That's what we're going to do with that. Just cloud their minds and walk away. Close the lever again. Check in this room with the flashlight. Right. See where he goes. Yeah, the zealots seem scary if they touch you. Coming towards me. Drink from the fountain. I now have a replacement leather jacket. Nothing of interest on that. Walked around all of the water there. Close that door. Uh oh. Worm mass. Snack. Now poisoned. Killed two snacks. Make that three snacks. Why is there so many snacks? This is a tunnel of danger noodles. There's another zealot up there. Take 
this up, flip the switch. I'm going to cloud mines because that dude just heard me. Where do you go? It's danger pasta. Very dangerous pasta. You walk a pasta, the danger pasta. Danger pasta. Just like my uh, old aunt's pasta. All right. I'm going to go here and I'm going to read this manuscript. Sort transcription of an eldritch incantation. There is a strange aura about it. Some power is imbued in the paper itself. I recite the forbidden incantations. The manuscript... I am out of sight. I suddenly find myself in a different location and I am confused. Hmm. Well, it made me frenzy. Or going insane there made me frenzy. And my insanity went up by 15%. I think I'm getting better at this, Jet. It's only taken like 20 runs, but I, I, I think we're getting better at this. What do you think, Jet? Think we're getting better at this? Let's try this way first. There's something sketchy about like prison cells with a door behind it. That or be coached by a genius. I feel stronger. Well. Yeah, okay. Well, hey, I broke it. Finally. Damn near killed myself breaking that door down. Seems kind of realistic, actually. Damn near killed myself breaking an iron barb door down. I'm assuming that's what it is. Definitely progressing. Learning. Ooh, HP. XP, not HP. I'm hoping that's the door that was right next to me. There's another incantation. Molotov cocktail. Isn't it nice of these horrible, evil cultists to just leave the Molotov cocktails around for us. I wonder if it's less like you found a Molotov cocktail and if it's more of a, you found all of the ingredients to make a cult Molotov cocktail. I wonder if it's more that. I found a clotted potion. We're about to level up. I think I'm gonna take the, either the, the noise one Mind worms. Mind controlling pasta? It's mind control pasta. Hmm. Well, the nearest other route is the water. I don't really feel like walking past you, so I'm going to go back up to where the water is. For the dark area, I'm just going to turn on my light. Need more batteries for this one. M1911. Okay, there's a bolted door. Nothing behind it. Well, it looks like we get to go through the mind worms then. <laughs> Vodka-fueled cult? Vodka 
whiskey, uh, moonshine. <laughs> I've never made a Molotov cocktail, so I don't actually know what's best. Ugh. Alcohol choice for Molotov cocktails. Alcoholic is not maybe the cult is just like the cult of Alcoholics Anonymous. Looks like the uh, mind worms decided to leave. How kind of them. Oh, there they are. Found the mind worms. It's a black mamba. Actually, you know what? I want to... Hmm. Cultist priest. Madly gibbering. Well, he hasn't seen me yet. So I'm assuming that's like a higher level of cultist. Okay. He's forgotten that I'm here. Light the Molotov. Throw the Molotov. And run. Swap over to the gun. Shoot him. So there's now a zombie here. That's still on fire. Well, I shot the thing behind the zombie. And I strain myself. And I killed the zombie. Okay. I picked up the zombie dust, which once again has the effect of apparently cold. Um, causes paralyzation. And I leveled up to level two. All right. Um, a silent seems very helpful. But I'm going to try Vigilant. Vigilant, not Vigilant. Vigilant. Yes. So my little explosion seems to have done some good work. Well, that's a very empty little room. Oh, can I equip two daggers? Oh. What if I want to wield the revolver, though? A lot of strange sounds going on right now. That's a very busy room. There's also a lot of traps in that room. Uh... I have identified a potion of invisibility. Well, that's useful. I wonder how long that lasts. I need to get out of this area. Sanity draws nearer. I find myself in encouraged by the sensation of pain physical suffering does not bother me at all and severe wounds even thrill me however my depraved mind will find will never find complete peace hmm. yeah i don't really know how to get out of this area there's too many things that i need to fight
Manuscript crumbles to dust. I've identified the man manuscript of Aura of Decay. I can now cast Aura of Decay from memory. Cite the forbidden candy to select an object of control. Huh. Interesting. So I flipped the um, the brazier over onto the snake. Also, by the way, there's a um, slime right next to me that wants to kill me. I'm sure it's friendly. Oh, I'm not wielding a firearm, right? All right. Let's disarm that trap. The glass new, which I don't think was aware of me, so I'm just going to walk around it. Uh oh. Well, this doesn't seem brilliant. Please go through the wall. Please go around me. Please go forward one more time. There you go. Oh, great. Make a dive for it. And descend. We've made it to depth four, ladies and friends. This game's tense. I like it. I fucking like it. I really fucking like it. But there is some really annoying situations where I'm like, I have no idea what the fuck to do. But I really like this. This is fun. I am well aware I am not wielding a dagger. Aiden. I know. If I'm not mistaken, it uh, unwielded both of them when I took off the one, right? Yeah. But thank you for the reminder. <laughs> Two zombie corpses I can walk away from. The fuck are you? Oh, it's powder. And... I've discovered a shadow spider. Now, is this a squishable spider or is this a bigu spider? It's a huge spider. Okay. Now, I'm wondering if it'll act like a spider or if it'll chase me. It'll act like a spider. Alrighty, spider. We can be friends. By that, I mean you stay in that room and I walk away. <laughs> Found some iron spikes, which is good. That is a clusterfuck. All right, I think I'm going to light a stick of dynamite. Three, four. See if I can throw it through that. Yes, I can. You can throw dynamite diagonally. Got ammo for the Colt.
There is some foul entity here. So... Someone earlier said that uh, they'd never seen an invisible creature. That's an invisible creature, I think. I'll walk away. Is the foul entity Squog? <laughs> also, hi, Squog. <laughs> there are a few problems that Dynamite can't solve. Um, improving my sex life is not one of the things that Dynamite can solve. Cultist Priest sees me. I cloud his mind. If he goes through, yep, I can then sneak past. That's just a statue. Picked up a manuscript. Searched the alchemist's workbench, found nothing. Working on it, Squag. Should be safe. Thirty Winchester, or win f three Winchester, thirty bullets. Okay, where the fuck did that priest go? There he is. Why can't I move? Oh, the game was lagging. Character refused to move and then moved two turns instantly. So. Scary hallway. Turn on my light so I quit going nuts. Really? No, there's not much here. Maybe there is something at the end of that hallway. No, my electric lantern has expired. Oh, there it is. Hmm. Well, it's just a hand. It's a handful of problems. And there's medical supplies. Which is very helpful. But I'm about to go nuts. And I don't have a flashlight. But how you doing today, Squad? Oh, Jesus. I'm weakened and paralyzed and slowed. And dead. I also couldn't move in the direction I wanted to move. Was I also confused? That might have been my best run yet. Ah. Kind of wish I could look at the map after I died. From getting blood work? Are you okay? I'm weirdly cold, so I'm putting on a um, sweater. Give me a sec. Newest version, you always detect hidden doors and adjacent tiles. Yeah, I've already figured that out. No need to flick the lamp on. I was flicking the lamp on. Most, most of the reasons why I was flicking the lamp on was because of dark rooms. But in this instance, I was doing it, or in the, in the reason I've been doing that is to is for the sake of speed because the game's got multiple hunger, cl hunger clocks, right? You've got your sanity, you've got shock. Um, so you want to use all of the tools that are made available to you. And if I can figure out where a door is with the flashlight faster, I, I personally feel that that is the better way to go, but I might be wrong there. 
Fucker paralyzed me in water, and I drowned. Well, we're getting there. What's INS mean? Oh, insanity, I get it. Okay. I think I'm gonna start off with Villagent. I think we're gonna start with that. Again. Oh, really? You kind of stopped talking about it, so that's awful. I, I hope that the... that do, do you know what's wrong, or is it one of those, like, you're just mis sick, and it's mysterious and strange, and we don't know why? So that seems less than ideal. If you don't know, that's awful. I'm sorry. <laughs> Best of luck, Peter. <laughs> Fuck these wolves, man. Cloud its mind. Literally just kicked the wolf, clouded mind, walked away. Basically gave them side effects of THC and walk away. Well, I mean, it's basically telling me how many things are in this room without me leaving? Oh boy. I think I'm just dead. Yep. Yeah, Villagen seems to be my favorite so far. Or at least my. I haven't tried all of them. Like, I'm sure some of these, like. 20% plus 20% shock resistance seems great, but also higher chance to evade attack attacks also seems good. That one was a quickie. Well, since I went to get tested for COVID, you haven't been better since. Oh, that fucking sucks, dude. Yeah, I've never played Powder. Powder is another one of those games that I've installed once or twice, fiddled with for 10 minutes, and then forgotten I had installed and then later uninstalled. All right, so that room is just like an empty cell with some stuff in it. So let's go break this door down. Got a manuscript and an opium dose. Excuse me. Drugs. A drug extracted from the plants of extraterrestrial origin. It leaves the user perfectly serene state, feel free, free from all fear. Okay, so if you're like where I was in the last run, you take that. The price of this, however, it causes an intense hallucinogenic delusions. It's also severely addictive. <laughs> okay, so like last ditch effort, fuck, I need help. Button. I know very little about powder. I, I know that I was able to install it, install it and it ran. That's all I really know about it. Oh, never mind. I, I thought I got the rifle for a second there. Just the bullets. Okay. This mythical Winchester that I haven't actually seen in game yet. What are you wielding? That one's got a Winchester. Walk over to me. Mayhaps. Seems like he's just kind of pacing. Well, got him. Thanks to the rifle, sucker.
So I got 11 bullets and the Winchester rifle. Put away the rifle. Or put away the pistol. Pick up the rifle. Reload it. There we go. Now I can uh, truly pretend that I am what that I am one with Shaun of the Dead. It's the only thing I can think about whenever I see Winchesters now is you won't go to the Winchester. Hangs up phone. I should rewatch that movie. I've been like looking for good Halloweeny movies to rewatch, and last night I rewatched The Thing. I haven't seen that movie in years. It's a trap. Let's put that down. Destroy that. We. I mean, for whatever it's worth, it's a movie I hold. Uh, very fun memories of. Okay. They didn't see me. But I don't have a door, so... Uh-oh. You did. Ow. Well, that's one dead. Can I cloud your minds and hide up here? Small tight corridors, lots of ways to... I like it quite a bit. I gotcha. Walk through the chains. Where are they headed? Kind of hoping they just leave the room. Hmm. Fuck. Saw me. Let's see if I can just kick you. Fuck. I might be dead. I'm certainly dead. Whew! Locked door. How much till my mines thing is open again? Pretty soon. I have a pretty good idea of where I'm headed. All right. Um, let's use the medical bag. The wound is now fixed. And I thought I was swapping to the knife, but actually I swapped from the knife to the gun and then got bit by a rat and I died. <laughs> well, I was, you know, it was funny. I was thinking to myself when I was starting this, I was like, man, how long until I die to one of these rats? Not very long, apparently. <laughs> Within the day. 27th run, here we go. Actually, I think I did a double one at one point, so. 28th run? What a pleasant place you've carved out here for yourselves. Right, let's take a peek at this door. I think that these two, yeah, they, they connect, okay. All right, so there's an altar here so I can memorize things. There's a dude with a fucking gun. And I'm poisoned. Sometimes snakes just don't attack, but then sometimes they seem like oddly 
fascinated with your immediate demise. Let's just stick with Diligent. Yeah, maybe I should try and use the throwing knives more. I tend to have a habit of saving throwing knives. Okay, how can you see me immediately? I tend to have a habit of not using throwing knives in games because I always want to save them until I find more. It's, just, it's like the same fallacy of like, ow? How did, oh, probably because I opened the door, right? Anyway, I tend to have a habit of not using consumable items because I, I fear that I will not have them when I need them. Yeah, I know that one element of powder. I've seen that like in like the, the roguelike subreddit and forums and such, people talking about powder in the past. Which is actually like, trying to think of the, the way it's kind, kind of similar to the way that um, uh, what's the word dungeon man sort of does that sort of I don't know I've played enough classless roguelikes that's like man Pixel Dungeon, broke you of that class, by extension DCS. <laughs> okay, how come you can see me right now? Probably because I just opened the fucking door, right? Well, I mean, they, I guess kind of, kind of the thing is, it's like, I am terrible at using consumables until I realize where they are needed in that particular game. So if a game has consumables, I will be terrible at using them until I... find the best use for that consumable and then I will use it for that thing specifically. <laughs> Basically, I'm, what I'm saying is I'm terrible at consumables. Okay. I feel vigorous. Oh, I'm now cursed. Lovely. So now I'm just cursed. Did they not like remove the god system from DCSS recently or am I making that up? They removed a system recently. Maybe it wasn't the God system. I don't know. I don't. I don't really play DCSS. So. Let's break my ankle. It seems like the um, gong that cursed me also increased my. Also increased my health. Oh, there's my exit. Fuck it. Yeah, I, 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 I don't actively follow DCSS. I, I have nothing against DCSS. It's just a bit too competitive for me. The majority of the active community for that game is just focused on... <laughs> the competitive side of things. I can't fight because I'm terrified. Mm -hmm. 
Well, this is not good. Didn't see me though. Got it. Oh, great. There's oozes in here now. Fortunately, I can just walk away from the oozes. There's a trap underneath me. And I spotted a smoke trap that was next to me. Disarm the trap underneath me and the one next to me. How do I? Okay, hold on. Wondering if there's a separate examine button that I'm missing. No, there isn't. Never liked its map gen? So I'm not the only one. The air suddenly feels colder. Something foul is nearby. The Horn of Malice. I pick it up. And my spirit is drained. There's a ghost there. That I, you know, made appear. Okay, where the fuck do I go? Is there a door in here? Nope, there is none. Okay. There, right. <laughs> Shit. Ow. My infection is cursed. Fantastic. Okay, so I don't... When blown, the sinister artifact emits a weird resonance, which corrupts all the psyche of all those in hearing range, including the hornblower. You know, with the existence of this technology, can I um, assist you with the uh, technology of earplugs? Instead of reloading? Definitely a, a true fact, yes. I definitely should have done that. Oh, there's a door. Great. Oh, come on. <laughs> Now I don't know how, this is again one of those situations where I have no idea what I should do. It's like I can just start. Can, oh yeah, no, there's absolutely nothing. Oh, did it say excluding? I read that as including. Huh, well, let's try this. Cursed and wounded, now I got one HP left. Seems like the, um, that cursed fucker's dead. Well, I pick up the sawed off shotgun. Because, you know, I didn't even. I don't like staying alive. Seems fine. Is there any other way to flip switches aside from physically bumping into them? Like, can I throw knives at them or anything like in Brogue?
kind of hoped that would, like, you know, hit things behind it, but... Seems to just not. Which is not super cool. Alright, that's all my ammo for the sawed off. My infection is getting worse. I'm gonna use the last of the medical stuff. Yeah, you read it right and I read it wrong. Turning on my flashlight is keeping me sane. It's the only thing keeping me sane. Let's just go and dive into this. screaming in my ears. I really wish I knew what the effect of this curse was. Because I don't. <laughs> I just know that I have a curse on me that I haven't identified. Okay. Blinded Zealot, I can just walk away from. Throw some dynamite in there, I'll deal with them. <coughs> Bunch of zombies. Let's just close that. Cloud their minds. Oh, minus 10, 10 to hit chance. Evasion stands five percent chance to fail. Thank you. I didn't realize that was in the character screen. Uh -oh. Well, this is not good. What's a yellow potion do? Let's find out. You feel more spirited. Well, I don't know any spells, so that's not exactly useful. Um. Okay. I was gonna say, can I pick those up? Didn't want to let me, or it didn't feel like it was letting me the first time. This doesn't seem super accurate. A smoke grenade. So I can be Batman. Seven years of bad luck. I don't think this run's gonna last seven years, unfortunately. I heard something in the water. Well, are you blind? This is a blinded zealot. Hmm. Okay. 
the best thing to do is just walk away from you. Should be able to just walk around that. Do I have any other ammo for any weapons? No. Uh-oh. There's a trap there, which I disarmed. Bunch of spaghetti balls. Tiny empty room. Some ammo. That's it. It's not super helpful. That took me to a very far out of the way, hard to reach place, and I didn't get anything for it. Well, I got a little bit of ammo. Try touching all the walls, turn on the flashlight so I don't go nuts. Let's hope that that zealot's left. Sanity's slipping. There was a floating skull, there is no longer a floating skull. There's a zombie chasing him. I'm gonna blow the horn of malice, which I think just makes them fight amongst each other. Every single turn I take, I'm losing sanity. I lose bathophobia. Sanity draws nearer. Seems far more terrifying to delve deeper. Let's hope that there's a stairway here. Well, at least I got a Tommy gun, I guess. I would say not worth it. Also, I put away the dagger, not the thing that I wanted to put away, but... Hi, skull friend. Bye, skull friend. I am actually not very pleased that the, um, that, that led nowhere. It's gonna, like, the exit's gonna be behind this door, just watch. It's gonna be right behind this door. Yeah, there it is. <laughs> and... Descent. Hi there. We leveled up, though. Using medical equipment only requires half. Plus 45%. Plus two spirits. Maybe tough would be a good thing to take here. Chat, you guys tell me what, what um, trait I need to take, and I'm going to go do a thing real quick. I'll be back in a minute.
round of beers for the level up, I suppose. Um, hmm. So I feel like it's important to take some sort of defensive ability here. So I could go for tough, which is what? Six more HP, which will get me up to from 14, you know, up to 20 HP. Or just getting hit 25% less. I think just getting hit 25% less seems better. Imperceptible is also very helpful, though. That's 45% chance to avoid detection. So that's just, like, remove the chance to take damage. And, eh, fuck it. We'll take imperceptible. Oh, my flashlight burnt out. Cool. Well, time to walk up to a wall. Okay, we're in a prison cell. I hope I can find another flashlight. Oh, I know I've been struggling with insanity. Well, I mean, actually, I'd say it's less struggling with insanity and more struggling with when do I use the fucking flashlight. Bats biting me. I think I might just be dead. There's a lot of things down there. I have another way to go, though. Still in total darkness. Oh, hello, you. Discovered a bog itcher. A vile dwarfish creature clad in coerced brown robes. It has a cruel grin on its pale face, and its eyes are gleaming with hatred. The bog teacher are mechanically inclined. They're good at crafting sadistic weapons and traps. Their favorite weapon is a spike gun. Kind of wish that their sprite looked different, but... It didn't even see me, so it's walking away. Well, I'm dead. I know, medium, but uh, I, I realized that too late, so it doesn't matter. All right. Cool. Telling me that I have no weapon equip after I'm equipping a new weapon is not exactly helpful. I, I, I just, I like that too much. Gee, you gotta remember that, like, assisting the streamer with games is an art form. Because if you offer advice at a time where uh, there is nothing I can do, it's it's not really helpful. It's more just frustrating. So. Just remember that if you're gonna throw out something like that, Especially if you've already told me that, which I've already figured out how to tell if I'm if I don't have something equipped. It's gotta be up to me to figure that out in the first place. If I don't then Well, I don't. <laughs> I'm gonna die regardless at that point. Well, once I've hit the point where I'm gonna die regardless, it doesn't matter if you assist. There's no real point to it. Lag is real. Well delay is real. But it's not just lag. Twitch lags like Twitch delay is pretty pretty okay, but like, if I'm already in a combat situation and I'm gonna die, offering advice is just kind of vexing more than it's assisting. Well, you're right there and you don't see me, and I got a knife equipped, so... Besides, that run was cursed anyway, considering I was cursed. 
I don't really like how the equipping works. I kind of wish I could just swap a thing out and it would process the turns instead of me having to put it away, go back into the inventory, select the thing I want to put in there. I would say it's almost unnecessarily clunky, but... Yeah, and then some weapons require two hands, apparently? What? Why did it put my dagger away? Is there even a logical reason for that? I don't understand. So say there has to be a way down. Okay, that probably opens the upper door that was there. bloated corpse, which I'm just going to walk away from. Yeah, I mean, it's tough, because, like, I, I know that you're just trying to help, right? Which I've been asking for, which is appreciated. Brilliant. Gonna cloud their minds and walk away. Great. That notified it of me. Fortunately, I can just walk past it. Snake's not aware of me, so I can just go past it. Now it's aware of me. Ah, great, and I'm poisoned. I don't know, does anybody else find the equipping of this to be annoyingly clunky? I don't have anything I can read in front of that. You ought to go to sleep soon? Yeah. It's understandable. Although we are, what, six hours into the stream, so time's flying by. Been an enjoyable stream so far. And a, and a magenta potion. Hmm. Man, I wish I could just like channel my inner ball of worms and fucking walk through walls like those cheaters. Bah. How was the pub, Stone? I'm trying. It's not working, okay? I mean, this channel is a ball of worms, so it's about the best I can do. Losing lantern light pretty quickly. Man, I wonder if there's any battery outlets in this place. <laughs> Great. I'll have to turn flashlight back on. Is that all it does? Stupid snake. I need you to come to me, Snake. Or don't. I need you to go anywhere that's not right there. Fine. Also, there's nothing here. Absolutely scramptacular. 
I have like having very n little luck finding the exit in this one. And my uh, flashlight has expired. We're not even out of the first floor. I will look at what that was in a second. I think I'm just dead. It's more than 11% in the same game. Just gonna keep going with this. Pretty sure that's better than my day Z survival time. Is that a better axe than what I currently have? Oh, no, I have a dagger right now. Is it worth swapping the axe out for the dagger? Or the dagger out for the axe is actually the, the right thing to say. Rat things seem kind of indifferent to me. Winchester bolts. Hmm, okay, noted. So not really worth it. Maybe worth maybe it's worth having both of them equipped and then swapping to the axe from the dagger when in hand to hand combat. Maybe it'd be worth doing that. Like swapping out the Smith and Wesson for the axe. Seems like it could be worth it. I don't know. Oh, that is a better dagger. It's literally just a better dagger. How do I just equip an item? Because, like, if I... S I mean, maybe I'm, like, misunderstanding this, but I've tried to just equip items before, and then it just examines the item. <laughs> so, I don't know, but I'll... I'll I mean, yeah, I know how to swap between items. So I, I'm not entirely sure what you mean by don't unequip items. I've been swapping between these all the time, so if that's all that you're suggesting, sure. But I'm trying to equip a new item so that I can quick swap between them. Okay, so there's a door there. Where are they headed? Head somewhere in a hurry. Molotov cocktail, gladly. There's a ghost. Some sort of invisible critter. Let's make it forget me. Doesn't seem super helpful. To make the invisible creature forget me. Also hurting a whole lot. Mind leech. Oh, lovely. I 
don't know. There, there, there's points where like your tips are helpful, and then there's points where it's just like, okay, so you're giving me the exact same thing that I'm already doing, but in a different order that isn't particularly helpful in any way. So, sorry if it seems like I'm ignoring that last one, but like, I, it, literally, that's what I've been doing. And if, I'm, if that's not what I'm doing, then I don't know how to do what I'm doing any differently. Where the fuck did all these spiders come from? There was one in the middle of the room, and then suddenly there was four. That's. All right, <laughs> that happened. I literally like walk into the first area and it's like, yo, here, have four, five spiders. It's like, what? Seems like a good level gen on that one. For me, this game is really fun if you slightly get going. But it can also be extremely bullshit. <laughs> and not in a fun roguelike way. In definitely a not fun way. Apparently, uh, tomb is empty, and I sprained myself and cursed myself. The curse is cool. Just kill me. Yeah, it definitely feels like there, there are times where I have lots of options, and then it feels like there are times where I have no options. And those no options are very frustrating. But when a run gets going, this game's very fun. But it is pretty obtuse. Let's go back to where we were. Did I not step on you the first time? I must have just walked around it by chance. I.e. those four spiders spawning right at the start. It's like, uh, I'm not sure how, what I'm supposed to do for this. The Smith and Wesson. So it's just extra ammo for my pistol. <laughs> Manuscripts. I do like the you know, combat not being necessary stuff, though. I really like the focus on stealth. But man, I really wish that this game had a wiki. <laughs> Unfortunately, games getting wikis is like me convincing chat to talk. It's like, sometimes the community just does it. Sometimes they don't. <laughs> it's like with streaming. Sometimes you guys talk a lot and you're great. Sometimes it's eight hours of lurk. Gotta go sleep. Could have fooled me, thought you already were asleep. Ow. How's Cookie Clicker, though? Also, you probably should have gone to bed earlier, considering 
you know, child and all. No, I've got a wound. Oh boy. Oh my god. Well. I like cookie clicker. So don't play it all the time. I'm playing cookie clicker right now. I'm dead. Doesn't matter. Cry literally. Like, it literally doesn't matter what I do. There's no wounds to treat my ass, I don't. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know what I need to do to play this game. Because there is... I feel like I'm missing a lot of knowledge that the game is not providing. And because this game is pretty unique, I, 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 I'm having a hard time using other knowledge for this game. So right now this game's like 60% frustrating, 40% fun. It's fun about 40% of the time and the rest of the time I'm just mad at it. <laughs> Do feel like I'm making progress though, I don't know. Played Factory Town instead. Different idle game. Oh, okay. still an idle game. I don't know. Idle games are the best. I am exhausted and don't have the energy to brain, but still want to play a game. Game. Secret was revealed. I'm just going to take the stairway. What is that? Five throwing knives, eh? Seems like it's worth getting. It's a rat. And another locked door. <laughs> Stab into the rat. Bunch of locked doors. Investments are open, heads up chat. Well, that just used up that knife. Don't have any incantations I can use. Every time I've hit the gong, it's just cursed me, so. Hmm. Well, picked up five extra for throwing knives. something up there. The lifeless corpse kicked you back. Missed. Okay. Picked all my knives back up. Let's see what we got. Crappy axe. Crappy machete. <coughs> Guess 
guess it didn't see me. Close door. Close other door. There's a secret. Turn the light on. Spooky skull. Wait, hold on. Was that a spooky skull or a gas mask? That was a gas mask. Kick snake. Why can't I kill you? All right, poison's gone. Wolf. Probably gonna end up just shooting the wolf. I missed twice. Yeah, that and I also do find the level gen of this game kind of frustrating. Because it's like, it seems really good, and I think it is really good, but because I don't understand why it does what it does, a lot of these rooms are just more frustrating than they are fun. Like, I would really, really appreciate being able to not, you know, expend a whole bunch of resources and energy trying to get to the end of a hallway and then there's just a dead end. It's like, well, I get why the game's doing that. Doesn't make it any less frustrating. <laughs> also, fuck this. Fuck all of this. Because I feel like I just wasted half of that floor doing absolutely nothing but burning my flashlight. Anyway, cured my infection. Sounds good. Bunch of balls of whatever. Let's just wait for you to move out of the way. Like, there's been places so far in my time playing, messing around with this, where the level generation has seemed kind of genius. And then there's moments where it's like absolutely terrible. And I haven't found like the happy medium yet. It's not like broke where even when it kills me, I'm just like in awe of its level gen. It doesn't feel repetitive, but it does feel like I, the player, am missing something sometimes. Sense great danger. I mean, we found the cultist's secret underground swimming pool, so I too would sense great danger from that. Am I just like randomly rambling or is what I'm saying making sense, chat room? XP? You didn't see anything, person next to me. Absolutely nothing. Cultist priest, I'm gonna walk away from you because you guys have weird magic powers that I don't have. And another gas mask. Because the game's giving me gas masks, I'm going to run into a situation where I need them. Vicious snakes slither up from the cracks in the floor. Um. It's a spitting cobra. I'm just gonna light this Molotov and do this. All right, 
Well, we found the trap room and we made it out alive, so yay. Because I don't know, I, I, I've been playing roguelikes a long time and half the time I'm just like rambling about shit. And I don't know, if you're not used to this type of game, a bog it one of those weird nail gun fuckers. I don't know, if you've never played a roguelike before, it, I might just sound like I'm bitching, but <laughs> I'm not. All right. Uh... That major is the great danger that the game was talking about? Oh, you mean that when it's like you sense great danger, that thing? Also, major zombie? What do you mean by major zombie? Did I see a unique zombie that I missed? It's really dark in here. All right. Oh, hey, I leveled up. Let's take imperceptible. And those do no damage. doing aside from probably drowning no wounds to treat well I'm poisoned I assume I need poison antidote or something Got him. Clothes lined him. Down to one HP. Am I going to die from poison? Nobody knows. I cast the forbidden manuscript. The bugs on the ground suddenly scatter away. All right, well, it's the spell of terrify, I suppose. I'm going to die of poison, aren't I? Five, four, three. Oh, no, I didn't. I didn't die of poison. Yay! <laughs> oh, poison does not kill? Oh, cool. That's nice. Oh, my lantern's about to die. That first run I did, I found, an, I found a flashlight recharge, or one of the first runs I did, I found a flashlight recharge. Haven't found one since. I'm entangled. Must have been a trap. I'm just gonna descend. It's like yourself is your greatest um, enemy in this game. You are your own greatest enemy. Wow! Cloud your minds. Can I stabby? Looks like it. The spike gun. Thought he saw me, but I guess he didn't. <laughs> Discovered a floating skull, which is behind me. And it cursed me. Which... I don't know if that's permanent or not, but 
certainly seems to be um, sticking around every other time I've gotten them. Oh, that's lovely. Bar that door and walk away. I'm going to um, throw a knife at you. Let's throw another knife at you. Seems to have pretty high dodge. And I'm dead. Oh, it paralyzed me. If it's all caps, it's permanent. Good to know. Oh, shit. That was the deepest depth I've gone. Damn. Add a sift 35. Not my best score, but my deepest depth. So... I do like that plain old Adesif wasn't my wasn't my worst one. So are ghouls just the normal zombie corpses that I've been bitching about? So I haven't seen anything called a, air quotes, ghoul. Yeah, you have a good night, CCX. Yeah, let's just stick to Rogue. You know, let's just start. Let's let's go Rogue and start with Tough. Let's go that route. I oh, I haven't been deep enough to encounter one. Okay, I was wondering exactly like what what the ghouls are because it's like. All ghouls are friendly. I'm like, well, what is that? <laughs> is how much of a benefit is that to me? Basically, is what I'm wondering. So, if I haven't encountered one yet, then fair. Also, I appreciate the tips. This chest is locked. That's new. Kick it! Huh. I'm just going to unload it. And a Colt 45 magazine. It's my first time finding a locked chest. And a flare gun. Oh, hello, you. There's a dude in front of me who just shot at me and he missed. Uh oh. Notifying the cavalry. You don't see anything. Uh, if you want to try it, it's free. This is one of the good ones. Uh, and here's a paste bin full of tips. <laughs> because it's been a pain in the ass to figure out. And there's no wiki, so. Let's see, are you just going to leave? I have discovered reanimated corpse. Okay, well, it did, it did rediscover me, but hopefully I can just run. Uh-oh, you have a gun. That's spooky. This is not a very good... Okay, yeah, I'm just... <laughs> All right, let's, let's try this again. For reference, um... Because it remembers your... Definitely starting with Villagin. Uh, it remembers your, um, last name. So, this is my 37th run. I can tell you for fact. 37th run. Oh, shit, hold on. There's a hole in the back. I didn't realize there was a hole in the back door. Huh. Neat. Hmm. 
There is a manual included on the main menu of the game, but it's not particularly in depth, and there are these little hints that pop up. But yeah, so this was the uh, the Patreon pick this month, which I'm assuming is the title. At least that's what I said it to last night. So I hope that's the title. Yeah, this is kind of my Halloween Patreon pick. I've got another game to try out later too. Got two things for today. Ooh, a manuscript. Scroll. On the flashlight. XP. It's very much a run the fuck away and hide game, though. Hmm. Kind of want to finish exploring this floor. This floor seems pretty chill. You can also shift direction, which is quite helpful. I have the knife equipped. Let's unload that, pick that up. I could probably turn the hints off now, but some of them are still kind of helpful, so I'm keeping them on. Snake. That's a snake. I am now poisoned. Snake is dead, though. Trap. Let's disarm it. There's another one north. Wow, there's a lot of traps in here. didn't see me. You forget about me. Oh, Jesus. He saw me again. Then I got hit by a terrified trap. I am wounded. And I can't open the door and I'm dead. Because there was a dude with a shotgun inside. I should have taken the stairs. Ugh. But yeah, no, this game is ridiculously difficult. <laughs> But yeah, I feel like I should probably slow down. But I feel like if I slow down, all that's going to happen is I just sit here and talk to myself a lot more. Oh, got you. Pick up that ammo. There's a lot of blood everywhere in there now. Go grab that manuscript. Don't know what that switch does. Actually, I know exactly what it does. I know where to go for it, too. Happy that. Some free... Oh, free bullet is what I get out of that. Walking the extra route around got me a bullet. I'd love to just sit here and, like talk with you guys through decisions. I'd probably get better at games, but I also feel like if I do that, like I said earlier, it's just going to be me talking. So people, if you guys want me to slow down and talk through more decisions, we could do that, but I need the interaction to be able to do that. I'm really hoping I find like a obelisk or something. Just rats. Or rat things, I guess. As their official title states. What 
door is just open. Alright, well, we looped back around. Oh, it's a sleep inducing fountain. That fountain knocks you out! One more area down here. We've got plenty of shock left, so. Go for some awe. Broke the door. Got some extra bullets. I think that's the whole floor, actually. Let's kick this. Open the tomb. Something rises out of it. Ooh. Made a discovery. I've discovered a mummy! One of my favorite movies growing up. I'm now cursed and diseased. I wonder if I could make you forget about me. But I read the forbidden incantation. Cloud your mind. Mummy is still following me, even though... No wounds to treat. Diseases can last a significant amount of time, even if waited once the level is cleared. Other sources can be... Okay. So, diseases can hang around for a while, because this is my first time catching a disease. You know, one of, one of my favorite parts about this game, Kali Commuter, is the website straight up just says, excellent, uh, excellent use of um, spooky sound effects. <laughs> this is one of the notes on the, the, the website, which I think is funny. Waiting turns. We're standing in light, so this isn't too bad of a spot to just wait. Okay, curse. The, the disease went away. Good, good, good. Well, I don't know if it's necessarily annoying, obvious stuff. I'd rather have you asking annoying, obvious stuff if then... I, I would rather have people asking annoying, obvious stuff than having nobody talking. Which has been something that... Been an ongoing problem for this channel for a while. Also, you know it's kind of hilarious? This is just kind of a Twitch thing, but like every single podcast that I listened to over the past week has had like a segment about how crazy it is and how borderline much of a scam Twitch is, which makes me so sad. I really wish that wasn't the takeaway a lot of people had from the revenue leaks. Just gonna flip that switch and walk away. This guy knows I'm here, be even though he's blind and deaf because I flipped the switch. So I made him forget that I'm here. Cool. How is Twitch a scam? Uh, the way they market the lavish lifestyle of the top 0.001%. And uh, very quietly don't tell anybody that nobody actually makes an, a livable wage on this website, unless you are in the very top percent of the site. Which fortunately, apparently I am. But... I'm just kind of sad that that's a lot of people's takeaway. Let's not go that way, because there's... Oh, no, wait, hey, the, the zealot moved up there. So unless there's another one, which there might be. Okay, there is another one. Can I walk past you? Do you seem to be able to just walk past you? Yes. Okay, there's my exit. That was a mistake. Ay, 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 ay. Going for the stairs. Made it. Good. But basically, what, what a lot of people are, what, what a lot of um, places are pointing out is basically just a, like, 
Twitch should be more transparent about when people get into streaming, and I don't think that that's actually the takeaway people should have from the leak. The takeaway I think people should have from the leak is like, number one, hey, if you like watching a stream, realize that it's a lot of work. <laughs> and then the second thing that I, I think should be taken away from the leak is that um, this isn't like an easy way to get rich quick, which I think a lot of people, or at least, at the very least, I saw this a lot in 2020, a lot of people getting into Twitch and trying to stream as like a side hustle income. Treat it like a hobby. It's much better like that. I don't think Twitch is necessarily scamming people. Those are probably all deads. I don't think Twitch is scamming people, but I think Twitch could be more honest. Maybe they're all snakes. I'm trying to avoid that poison. There's a wolf. Oh, maybe it's a wolf pack. Fuck. Okay. Um, get clouded, wolfy. <laughs> work. Pick him back. <laughs> Missed. Stab it to death, I suppose. Oh my god. <laughs> well, this was fun. I was gonna try and do this, and I missed. I was gonna try and kick that wolf back through the door and then spike the door, but. If he missed, I could've gotten through the door maybe. But, but to be clear, I don't think Twitch is a scam. I, however, think that a lot of people go into this with the intentions of making money, and I think that that's ridiculous. I don't realize that people like me streamed for years before it became even remotely viable to do that. And it's incredible to me how many people have absolutely wrong information about how much streamers get paid. That's the other thing that's made, that's become really obvious to me. Is to me, it's always been kind of obvious how much streamers make. I can just like look at it, at a streamer's account and like into it about how much they're making based on uh, the total number of emotes they have and the information that's just on everybody's profile. But for some people, I guess people who don't stream, it's kind of a shock. This is, I'm dead. <laughs> can I throw Molotovs past you? I guess we'll find out. Yes, I can. Destroyed the corpse. It's only a scam if you thought the people. I guess that's why I'm tired of seeing it then. It's because there, I guess, maybe are people who thought that we were doing way better than we actually are. Winchester rifle. Nice. Kind of tempted to just throw a Molotov into the middle of that room. But I think it's just all rats. So it's no huge deal. All rats and a snake. Snakes are like not super interested in murdering you in this game, so you can just kind of walk away from them. Break 
down this door. Oh, there's something on the other side of it. Whoa! Something blinded me. I don't know what that was, but I'm going to walk away from it. But no. Twitch is one of the best things to happen to the internet, or at the very least, the gaming space in, um, I don't know, maybe forever. I just wish that Amazon managed it better. <laughs> God, I can't even fucking throw these. Uh, this map gen confuses me. Like, there's times where it makes a lot of sense, and I really like it, and then there are times where it gets a bit too, um, odd. Although the thing that's really non-conducive to, to kiting is the speed at which enemies, enemies move. Almost all of the really threatening ones are threatening because they're moving faster than you. Or at the very least, the same speed as you. Well, the spider time I think was just a bad, bad seed. <laughs> that's that's my assumption on that. I think that was just a bad seed. Ooh. Um. Light the Molotov cocktail. Throw it in there. Kick you. Kick you. Okay. Run away. Oh. Reanimated corpse dies, apparently. Let's see if I can do this. Cloud your mind, walk away. I all of a sudden can't move. Oh, the game's just lagging. What do you think this is? You know, like that that's you, you, I know that you've been playing a lot of Jupiter Hell, which um doesn't have diagonals, but you do realize that like the vast majority of roguelikes have diagonals, right? <laughs> it's the norm to have diagonals. A rock. Pick up a rock. Then why would you even ask? It's the default assumption, my dude. Now, this game doesn't care about selling to a outside audience because it's a free game, so of course it has diagonals. Try and just kick you. Stab the reanimated corpse with the dagger. There's fire in front of me. I kick it. Oh, never mind. Those are crawling intestines. I'm going to throw my knife at you. No, breaking the corpses gives XP. Killing them doesn't. So permanently killing them does. 
I think that's because uh, there's one class that needs to eat them. So breaking the uh, dead corpses corpse so that they can't reanimate gives you another corp gives you XP. If I understood the order of the operations I was going about doing there. So they couldn't see me. If they have a blue background they can't see me. If they have a gray background they can't. Or if they don't have a background I guess. This place doesn't seem very sanitary. Just an observation. Hmm. Let's walk down and around you. There's a medical kit in that room back there. I'd really like, but always descend. There's a game that I'm really looking forward to, which is coming out on Steam soonish, called My Cousin the Rogue, which I'm kind of shocked is not <clears throat> featured in the roguelike celebration sale thingy that's happening right now. That's a game that I really would like to play really just seems to be they're breaking all the doors down it's like the anti-roguelike which I really would like to play Are you breaking through this door? oh why don't you look at that it's a bloated corpse I think I can just outwalk him Seeing if I can kite this thing. Oh god. Hmm. I'm gonna say, let's see if I can sprint past you, but nope. I'm really hoping that bloated corpse don't see me again. I'm surrounded. Bloody blinded zealot. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know if I'm actually getting anywhere in at this point. Yeah, no, things to hit in this game. The first enemy I ran into in this game actually one-shot me. Um, with a shotgun. Did 13 damage to me, and you start with 12 on most classes, from what I can tell. Unless you bring the... perk that just gives you more HP. So yeah, that was... That, that, that's painful. Hmm. I don't know, I've been streaming for 7 hours. I think that that's what the intended gameplay loop is. That's what I've been trying to figure out, and I, I think I'm figuring it out. There, like, there's there's points in this. I think the majority of the time you're supposed to run away, unless you're one specific class, which only heals off of feeding. Um, So it's like a game for pacifists. Yeah, and anyway, kind of back to that. That I mean, that's the other game that I was talking about. But yeah. Um, yeah, it is, this, is, this is a tricky one. What's up, Pink Fluffy? How are you? I 
Let's try one more run, and then I think we will... Because, you know, it's the, the meaning of the universe, right? Let's try one more attempt. And then we will swap games. How's that sound? Covering from a cold? Ooh. My condolences. Watch me just die to a dozen spiders. Nope. Okay. Oh, hey, I can see what's in here. Sort of. Flashlight doesn't help at all. Oh, there's the lever. Watch the door be locked. Hey, it's not. So, yeah, I think that this is the last learning attempt of the day. There will be more of this, though. Before the end of October. Mm -mm. There's a lot of stuff behind that door. No, I haven't. Should I have? If it's something that was posted on the Discord, I've been kind of disconnected because family shit's been going on. Like, I, I really have not been following up on stuff recently. It's been busy. Ah! Hmm. It's just stuck down here that yeah i haven't listened to it although i haven't really looked at my own out there eh, outside of um like streaming and stuff i haven't really looked at my own discord in a few days it's been a while break that door some xp tldr my mom's been in hospital so I've been uh, distracted the last week. Mm -hmm. There's my exit. Let's just break this. Take that pump shoddy. I'm now wielding the pump shoddy. I don't like the way that wield works. Is it just select it selects the top item. I don't always want to equip it in the top item spot. Yeah, okay, so you have to swap out and say I want to equip this. It's, it's actually it's it's not bad once you figure it out, but figuring that out is fiddly. What are those iron spikes? Um, they're what I'm using to lock doors, just like um, uh, Dungeon Man's. Dungeon Man's does that. They'll have locked doors and then door spikes. And use the spikes to lock the doors. There's another way from there. There's a lever. There's something there. It's a rat or a snake. It's a rat. Oh, there's my exit. But I want that XP first. They can see me in the dark. Cloud their minds. Okay, I'm going to move past you, touch that, and descend. Caltrops? I don't actually know what that is. <laughs> What's a caltrop? Is that what you use to kill a vampire? This priest is in my view. You didn't see anything. You know, I've been wondering this for a bit. Can I throw this through here? 
Yes, I can. Where did all those rats come from? Cultist Priest uses Summon Rat. Look at all the blood appearing. Well, let's go see what we got from that. Think medieval Legos. I think medieval Legos. So basically, like the things that um, they use to stop cars. We leveled up by picking that up. I think I'm going to take tough as my second trait. Wait for things to stop burning. Pick up a manuscript, yes please. There's a few manuscripts in there. There's an asbestos suit. And one of these. Bit bulky, so sneaking and dodging are slightly more difficult. A one-piece overall asbestos fabric, including hood, furnace mask, gloves, and shoes. It protects the wearer against fire and acid and electricity, and also against smoke, fumes, and gas. Man, good thing that uh, cultist wasn't wearing that <laughs> when I threw that cocktail in there. Oh yeah, the things that come out of the backs of uh, James Bond cars. I've never played a roguelike with that mechanic, where you throw down spikes to hurt people with Legos. Okay, that's it. Somebody make a roguelike where you have to play as a small child, and the idea is to steal cookies out of the cookie jar. And one of your abilities can be uh, throw down Legos to stop family members from uh, getting to the cookie jar. Somebody make that super wholesome roguelike. Okay, there's a floating skull. Just gonna walk away. Sneak up and around you. Oh. Machete. There's probably a Rugrats game. Okay, someone just make a Rugrats roguelike. You know, I, I'll be completely honest. I, I've wanted, like, more stupid video games based on properties that I like because, like, I feel like the few people that I consider friends are all just, like, screaming about that SpongeBob Smash Brothers game or SpongeBob Smash Brothers-like game. I'm just going to uh, light this Molotov cocktail and just... Chuck it right there. So they, like, all all of the people that I know who are big fran, fans of Nickelodeon, and then I'm going to kick this over. God, that poor fucking cultist. Good lord. All are just getting all of these amazing games right now, and I'm just sitting here going like, I want a SpongeBob rope, like, <laughs> you know what I mean? I wonder if items can burn. Whoa! Raven pecked me. Motherfucker, can't see shit. Fucking ravens, man. <laughs> I'm just going to uh, say, you didn't see anything. Bunch of XP. Please walk away. There you go, he's walking away. Not a huge fan of that corner. Raven doesn't see me. It's t three ravens. Oh my god. Why is there so many ravens? Well, got one raven. That's so raven. Okay. It's my exit.
No, you can't go back up. This is a you go down the stairs and the stairs disappear game. Notice how there's no um, stairs. I don't think that there is a point in this game where you murder Hobo. You keep saying murder Hobo. I don't think there is a point in this game where you really do that unless you're playing a ghoul. And even then, I don't think you can really do that. None of this... Like, this game doesn't really... Like, there's very few abilities that are focused on combat in this. Like, everything seems to be, like, variations of make the enemies forget that you existed in the first place and sneaky through. Which to me means, in theory, I would probably really like this game if I got good at it, because I like games like that. Because instead, like when you see four guys with guns, instead of what's the most efficient way of killing all of these four guys, it becomes what's the most effi efficient way of avoiding them. A <laughs> oh, flashlight, motherfucker! Hells yeah! Sorry, I'm very happy. I realize it is a literal electric lantern. But still, fucking flashlights, man. Pitchfork. Investments are open. Heads up, chat. There's a snack. Well. Let's break the door. Keep moving. Well, I was throwing them directly into the wall. Fortunately, these things move really slowly. Okay. Also, since you get no experience or real benefit from killing enemies in this game, secret is revealed. What would the purpose, even if you could go back up through floors, be to murder Hobo, aside from, like, I guess, getting gear, maybe? Just kind of curious about... A 15 games losing streak? What, on investments? Three ways? <laughs> oh. <laughs> for a second there, I thought I could have just walked around that, and I felt really stupid for half a second. Could not, in fact, just walk around. I think it may be time to just leave. What I would do for two obelisks right about now. Let's just do this. Break the door. You're having a good feeling today? Well, best of luck with that good feeling. All right, so that room looks to be full of spiders. I say the classic line of kill it with fire. Hmm, that was exceptionally inefficient and I'm very disappointed. But I clouded their minds and I walked away. It's not really managing its RNG. Oh yeah, no, I, of course. 
light the stick of dynamite. I thought that I had one more turn until it would blow up. Well, Lamau and D, yeah. <laughs> I thought that I had one more turn. Because it said FZ. I thought that you could get down to just F. But maybe I, like, fumble-thumbed it and did another turn. I, I don't know. Maybe I was wrong. I think that might still be my best score, though. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck. Well... Look at this big genius up in here. Maybe it, cause like the la there was another time when I was fiddling with those and I got it all the way down to one F. Hey, Bell and Aaron, thanks for the raid. Ugh, fuck it, I wanna do another run. This game's fun. I'm terrible at it, but it's fun. Bell and Aaron, thank you very much for the raid. And uh, what are you playing today? You're, you're still, honey, I joined a culting, right? Yes, you are still culting. Well, um, I am invading your cult and uh, trying to kill all of you. As you can see by this lovely piece of text right here, uh, I stand at the end of a cobbled forest patch. Before me lies a uh, shunned and decrepit old church. This building is access to your cult. Um, oh, really? I would, wait, hold on a second. Please explain why I was a skeleton in your cult. <laughs> I'd like to know all these details. I also love the fact that my branding is strong enough at this point that when there's a skeleton in a video game and if this person, if, if it's in a video game that's being streamed and that streamer knows me, they go, oh look, it's blind. <laughs> I love that I'm at that point now with some people. But I'm glad that I could be hunting your existence from beyond the grave. And one of them was a skeleton. Oh, and you named it blind? Because <laughs> if it was automatically named blind, I might need to sue somebody. <laughs> Excellent. Thank you. I, I appreciate it. I mean, it's just like if it was an otter, uh, you would have named it FG. <laughs> and if it was an evil lady in a robe, it would be Dark Kiri. I was going to say, that feels like an area with a door at the end. Bellinaire, have you ever played this? I'll set a fisherman and a demon. Gotcha. So, evil trick and dire dwarf. You can decide which one's which. And <laughs> fed the world to the old ones. Good, good, good. Glad all's going according to plans. Yeah, I haven't touched that game yet because I'll be honest, I'm just, unless it's like games that are strictly trying to be like Dwarf Fortress, I'm not that interested usually these days. Rats. Turn on the flashlight. Something rises from the two. And it's going to kill me. It's a mummy. Hi, mom. It's frightening to be behold. It re a mummy remembers hostile creatures for a very long time, and you usually don't find them until beneath level 10. Right. Can I kick you? Yes, I can. I literally can't open or close the door because it's currently being opened. Oh, and he's diseasing and cursing me. Cool. No, mummy, stop. Mummy, please. Let's go up here and door spike this door. Oh, hey, look, it's my exit. And a snake. I'm gonna dive into the exit. I'm gonna just wait a whole bunch of turns. Oh, hey, look. Shambling undead. Yay, the curses have lifted. You wanna know why? Because this game is free and uses free sound libraries. You know what other game is free and uses free and uh, uh, definitely not uh, legally purchased sound libraries? The game you just mentioned. Um, also, I, f I um, drank from the fountain and immediately fainted. Well, this is not good. 
cloud your minds. <clears throat> Try to back up. Close the door. And bar it. All right, now let's throw a light a stick of dynamite. <sighs> Move up. Put it there. And book it! That was very ineffective. I am very disappointed. No, it's all good. I was just simply stating why it's the same sound. Keep going. No, don't go back. Boo. All right, let's beat the shit out of their corpses. You know, actually, me blowing myself up back there is the first time I've successfully killed myself in this game. So I think that should be an achievement. So that's a cursed fountain. Ooh, a trap. I'm kind of annoyed that, like, AI can't trigger their own traps. I keep on trying to, like, kite things into their own traps, and they keep on, like, still killing me. Picked up a slimy potion! I think I should be picking up more potions, honestly. There's a trap there too, but fuck it. Reanimated corpse. I'm gonna kick you. It's just the one I should be able to fight this. It's not. <laughs> it's never just the one. Is never just one. The wound is healed. Okay. The fountain, let's go chug. Strange shape. Step into the strange shape? Obviously. I am life sapped. Cool. Classic roguelike. See strange thing? Poke it! <laughs> See if it hurts. If it hurts, don't poke it next time. All right. Um. I break you. I like that you can literally kill yourself in this game by punching a wall. Or rather, kicking a wall, but still. It's very amusing to me. <laughs> that you can literally kill yourself in this game by kicking a wall. Crawling intestines. Mm, great. I think those things are also blind. So maybe I can just walk past you. Yeah, they're definitely blind. They're also pretty slow. Oh, well, this is definitely a run for the stairs situation. Never step on strange shape? No, always step on strange sh shape. So that, ha, 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 very funny, Axon. Now, I'm literally blind in the game, too. And I just blinded myself a second time. See? I am blind in game and in real life. Ooh. This is a problem. I made him forget about me. 
And he saw me through the bars and he shot me. I am getting better at this game. Blind dig, blick, blind dig, blid, blid, blid dig, blick dig. What are you trying to say, Cassie? Also, hi, Cassie. How are you? <laughs> All right, chat. So that was uh, that's that's six like six and a half hours of this chaos. Um, I think I am going to.